Good morning, good morning, everybody. How's it going? Welcome in. Uh, don't want to take too much time for the sake of people that could potentially be uh, watching this back uh, VOD style, because not everyone could probably make it today. But wanted to start off by saying a few things. Guys, thank you so much for all the love recently on the channel with the Gray Zone Warfare videos. Uh, it's been humbling, and I appreciate you guys so much today. Um, <clears throat> as far as today goes, what happened was uh, 20 creators were selected to be a part of an internal playtest. Their videos should be dropping uh, right now. I was not selected. Understandably, uh, they went with uh, larger creators. That's marketing. That's fine. That's awesome. What this gives me a chance to do is uh, chat with you guys. So what I wanted to do today is kind of have a sort of town hall style live stream where we uh, take a look at some of this gameplay and talk with you guys and uh, hopefully get some good discussions going um, about what is going on. So there's still a lot of questions with Gray Zone Warfare. Uh, we've been talking about it in the chat before we went live. It's things like, you know, PVP we haven't seen. We really haven't seen the looting. There's some questions regarding the AI. We don't know like net code and stuff and server tick rate that all goes in with PVP. So there's a ton of questions. So hopefully uh, we can find some stuff and what's going on i did see one dropped already from controlled pairs um that one is an hour long which is uh wild um so we'll be checking that out uh red beards drop that's the one i wanted to start with um i talked to him he said it was cool to watch it on stream so we're gonna check that one out uh red beard mortis if you don't follow his channel it's awesome. Uh, after we watch the video, definitely guys, get you guys links to the channel uh, so you guys can go check it out. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Legit says he won't listen to those chumps. What, what are you doing here? I'm definitely an internet chump, man. Like, holy cow. I like how uh, people were on my raw gameplay. They're like, I'd really like to watch it without your head on the screen. I was like, dude, go to IG and never heard of it. It's pretty funny. Some of the comments have been wild. But... Anyway, I bought Tarkov. I said you like Stalker. Yeah. So the whole thing, like the Tarkov, the Tarkov and stuff like that comparisons. And I'm not, I'm not innocent, right? Like my first few videos were like, this is Tarkov in UE5, right? Um, I'm not innocent by any means, but I think that could be damaging to the game because again, we're talking about this. What we've seen so far has been pre-alpha, and this game is a couple years in development and Tarkov is if you, you know, you put pre-alpha early access all the way, probably approaching 10 uh, from the time it started. And again, if you compare like pre-alpha gameplay footage of Tarkov to this pre-alpha gameplay footage, this is uh, in a much better state. So I feel like it has a base as long as we're myself included, myself included, we're patient enough to let him cook. You know what I mean? Yo, PY, thank you so much for the 10. I appreciate that. Will there be mortars for us players? Man, maybe. <laughs> I kind of hope not. That would actually be wild. That would actually be kind of wild. I don't know how you'd balance that. But uh, shout out to the Battlefield mortar players out there. <laughs> but yeah, let's check out Redbeard's video. And again, guys, uh, we'll, we'll give you some links to his channel uh, when we get done with this. You definitely want to go check it out. And also, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna need some details on uh, on volume and stuff like that so uh please fill me in on that but i'd really like um to get some good discussion going today it'd be a good time tarkov is nothing like they said it'd be back in 216 i get that sentiment too mike i get that sentiment too um and, and i'm working on it uh in my content i just know that's really the big part of the discussion is like tarkov versus Grayson warfare and i'm trying to get away from it because because they've even said they're not trying to compete with Tarkov, you know, so it's it's just us. It's it's people like me. It's the community that it, it's just an easy way to explain stuff, right? Like this game, you always hear when people are talking about a game like this game is like this game is like and we always just want to compare it to something. And that that just what's that just is what happens. So we're working on that. But yeah, guys, 
So let's go ahead and see what Redbeard got going. Got to play it. Let's see what he has to say. Let's let's uh, let's get let's get going. Back to the channel. You guys read the title. You guys already know what's going on here. If you follow me on Twitter, I got to play Grace Volume good. Warfare really damn early, earlier than a lot of people got to. And I just want to say before we start this video that this is a very important video to watch for reasons that I'm gonna get into here in just a moment. But I want to take this time while I still have you to say thank you to everyone at Madfinger who allowed me and the other content creators to play the game early. I appreciate the help out of you guys y'all have been absolutely incredible to me and my community but that's why i said this video is very important if you've been on the fence whether or not you should respect these guys or get involved with gray zone warfare this is the video you guys like that, that parallax the ads question. but before i Scopes continue any sick. further make sure you guys hit that like and sub button for more content like this all right let's just jump right into it but yeah like i said in the beginning i got to play gray zone warfare really yo red beard say it's about three to four weeks before the hey. log gameplay red beard thank you Thank you for the FPS counter. Uh, if you're still here, what GPU you running? What's your rig look like? Uh, 54 frames, 60 frames, hanging around 60 frames. Uh, what's you, what you, what you cooking with? That's good info. It even came out, but even before the play test, we had seen the raw gameplay in the Discord. A little via low. A VIP content creator town hall. So we kind of already knew what we were going to get into with the play test. And to be honest, as soon as we seen this game in engine being played by Merrick, our jaws hit the fucking floor. We were just so blown away with how much progression was being made, and we were pretty much that better, begging guys? these guys at this point to release the raw gameplay or let us into the fight so we could actually play. Sure enough, a couple weeks go by. They tell us that we're getting involved in a play test i get thrown into this discord with a bunch of big content creators and we are able to actually play the game now for full disclosure here the build that we played on during this play test was about a month old but it was the most stable build that they had for us to play on and i also want to make it a point that throughout the entirety of the play test there was not a single issue with the servers and people had very minimal issues with the game itself that is if you had an nvidia graphics card for me and my other amd people who were in the play test i think there was maybe four of us total to include me we had a few issues with the game. Ooh, really, to be quite honest, it was mainly just frame instability issues. The guys had to either lower their graphic settings or go into the AMD Radeon post effects and turn off some things that they had enabled. For me, on the other hand, my case was a little bit different. I kept getting a UE5 Vulcan error every time I would try to load up so it's in one Vulcan. of the biggest sales ads. Ah! 30 beef sticks for just $30. We gotta watch the ads. Try for Infinite money glitch for Redbeard. Six into the lobby so the game would boot i would connect to the server but the game would not load me into that server and while we were trying to figure this out in the discord call that we had set up you had rick devil dog ricky and foxic all in this discord trying to help me figure out what the hell was going on but after the issues that i had me and the other guys from madfinger we just sat down and did a shit ton of rigorous testing pretty much that entire day and i'm talking dev team community managers qa you know, we all just talk about know buttered what was sausage mike on, so I'm we always decided down. screw it we're gonna fix this issue before anything else happens and with that being said we pretty much did everything we could to this game to get it to work we were turning off and on certain settings we were trying to do resolution changes we it were fired good to do a lot of can we watch shit, that one more time still anything else happens and with that being said we pretty much did everything we could to this game to get it to work we were turning off and on certain settings we were trying to do resolution changes Blood spray we looks were sick trying too. to do a lot of shit and it just still wasn't really working so after multiple attempts and nearly eight hours of troubleshooting on the first day of the play test i was told that i probably wouldn't be able to play during this play test and that was kind of the reason why they decided to do a play test like this is so they could find really critical issues or maybe even just minor issues and fix the guys doesn't this this map look way more dense than you thought it did and i know i know that we're probably in like a uh i know we're probably in a village or something but from like the mini map gps view and even from the chopper it looks open but when they're down in this map man there's like a there's a lot man and 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 detail like broken fences on the side and stuff it just it the map is like you got to give it to them on that right like that map is stunning man Yo, Retro Rob with the five gifted, dude. Super kind of you. Welcome in, everybody. Holy cow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so by the time it goes into early access launch, the game is pretty much damn near perfect. But towards the end of the day, I was basically told that, yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to play during the play test. They offered their condolences and they apologized to me like it was the end of the world. And I just told them, I'm not mad at you guys. It's just shit that happens and it comes with the territory. Now, during this point in the video, you're probably asking me, well, Red, why did you not flip the fuck out? I would be so irate if this happened to me. And the reason why is because they stopped what they were doing almost immediately to 
help diagnose the issues. Got a lot of horizontal that recoil, myself huh? myself and the other AMD users were having. And also, their oh. internal testing did not have any issues like this. So I wasn't mad at them. They apologized that guy me, is like strong. I said, several times, and that was pretty much the end of it. That guy is strong. I know, I know they said that they uh, they already mentioned that they later that they toned the down the AI's health or whatever. To diagnose the they balanced issue. it somehow. And like I said, this was after being told I probably wouldn't be able to play. The tech team just went in and they started working their magic. After showing up back to the office after working pretty much the entire day getting the servers and the game ready to be play tested, they grabbed the spec sheets for everyone who had a 100% AMD system like myself and they started getting to work. I was told it would be about two weeks while they get the parts for my PC build it out and try to run different builds of this game to see which one would work the next day not even 24 hours later they sent me a build that worked and with that i was also provided with a stability ini file that would allow me to pretty much adjust value subdermally meaning that i wouldn't have to go through the ui screen that was wow. already established in the game i could just fix them on a notepad document wow. save it relaunch the game and it would probably work but so if you guys didn't catch that they he sent him his their he sent them their specs if i understand this and within 24 hours they patched it and sent him a working build of the game what's up gary but then we ran into Wild, a couple man. more issues with the That's... INI file. Whenever I would try to adjust some texture values, it would uh, it would break the game. But hey, it was a start. I went from not being able to play the game at all. 24 hours later, here I am playing. Stitching the game. up your then wound. I was told literally right after that, hey, the guys are going back to the office to make you another build. Just stand by and we'll give it to you probably within a day or two. I would say maybe about seven or eight hours later, I was sent another build of the game. That's crazy. Play, and it actually fucking worked. These guys told me it would be about two weeks and I probably wouldn't be able to play and within 24 to 48 hours i was able to play gray zone warfare and what you're seeing on screen is pretty much how my game looked after they sent me the updated build you will notice that there is some frame instability <laughs> john not there, wrong but everything worked as planned yeah. and we were actually able to run games with myself Flo, that would Beat be cool Boss, and big fry tv we went through the entire mission that was seen in the raw gameplay footage laser's gonna I be tell strong you right now that was some of the most fun i have ever had with a game like this we were flying in the damn helicopter from the base to our first objective we were clearing motherfuckers out left right and center on the streets you know and while we were moving through the environment and gunning down ai's and looking at how beautiful this game looks we just couldn't believe that we were actually Red Beard, lower that sense man. warfare you want to talk about yeah the frames are rough but he's talking about uh amd amd having a hard time this is the game that's going to give it to you and the reality of how immersive frames are this low. game can be for you but Optimization is also one of the last steps in game dev, as I understand it. Infinite money glitch. You need a wall oven? Man, YouTube knows I like food. Dang. As soon as you hit your feet on the ground me out the like first that. landing zone and start making ah. your way to your first objective, you realize that shit is about to get real. There's just something really chilling about moving through a grassy knoll with your partners, making sure that you keep your head on a swivel to not alert anybody, all the while making sure that you can... What do you guys think of the scopes? What do you guys think of the scopes? I think there's some weirdness with like graininess, but the the parallax and the lens distortion is like money. But it's I don't know. It's almost like a picture in picture thing, but still see your team and communicate with them effectively. There is so much detail on these maps, dude. There is stuff everywhere. You know, liken it to like when Battlefield 2042 launched and the maps were like sterile and open. While you're on your way towards a more populated area of Le Mang, there's not a whole lot of games that are going to give you that experience. I also want to brag about how, how good the weapons felt to me. Now, there was uh, if you're one of these people quite a bit of aim punch when you got shot. Karkov's weapon system, this is going to be the game for you. However, if you the aim punch is interesting because, oh, look at that. Look at that frame right there. The aim punch is interesting because it's not like in Tarkov when you get aim punch, I feel like your gun goes to the sky. In this one, it's more and really like horizontal. Tarkov's weapon system, I don't see why anybody would, but if you're one of those people who have taken a strong liking to it, then this may not particularly be for you. But no matter what side Alien of the argument that be. you fall into, I still feel like you can appreciate what they're doing here. You can still appreciate the things that they're striving for because it screams quality. And that also gets broken down into the sound staging element. The sound staging for the you weapons You guys like how people say this is a fake game? I have seen come from the industry. I know I said in my video two days ago, 
ago that the sound staging could use a little bit of work and believe me it absolutely still does but that doesn't mean i still can't give them credit where credit is due these guys put audio a needs lot work of damn work into the sound of these guns the visual recoil how it reacts in the, the way i've been looking at it and I, I look at games differently a little bit i give a lot less leeway to like triple a studios and stuff like this but when you have an indie studio like this taking on something that's this crazy and to be like, well, the audio's ass. It's pre-alpha. Like, and it, and it truly is. It's not like Call of Duty that does a beta as an advertisement. If the audio was perfect, I mean, it wouldn't be pre-alpha. If it didn't need work, it wouldn't be pre-alpha. Notice the Daniel Defense logo on the vert grip. The environment, the sounds you know what that I mean? are made when like, it bounces off. If something didn't need work, it'd be released off objects the sound itself echoing throughout buildings and streets but how do you guys feel about that so i guess mara said like in uh the creative director in regards to um the gunshot sounded a little bit weird he talked about that it's because they're wearing hearing protection and then i saw people counterpoint that to say well the frogs and stuff are so loud but they were wearing like the m32s and stuff and, and the and the walkers where you have a microphone and then it shuts off when you shoot i wear those at the range too so like maybe that's what they're after but like i said in my video two days ago if they just bump dude uh favorite classy that's exactly what i'm saying like them taking two days to fix an amd issue in a pre-alpha build is like it's a really good testament to the competence right like they can take something find the problem and fix it boom you want to compare it to tarkov there's been bugs at tarkov since launch we don't know for sure, once this gets out to a larger audience, there's no doubt in my mind there's going to be bugs. But it's a it points you in a you get a little bit of a good feeling, right? That they're able to fix it this fast. Up that low end and just increase the mids just a little cheating, bit. Yeah, these guns are going to pop and crack the way that you want them to. We in a perfect world for cheating, in a perfect world for me, uh, that any brain AI anti cheat that constantly looks at stats and player stats and movement and stuff would be like what I would love. Also got to experience how hostile the AI is in this game. Now the AI topic when it comes So we're still in the same area of the map. The gray zone warfare the, has been one the of the hotter topics discussed, mainly gameplay. because the AI do not function the way that many people would expect it to. And a lot of that had to do with some server desync issues while playing the game. But Rick and the devs would be the first ones to admit that they needed to calibrate the AI better. And I completely 100% agree. They shouldn't be as strong as me without body armor. And that was one of the things that we seen as the biggest issue out of the entire playtest. The AI were just way too spongy for our liking. They also talk a lot of Shit. Like if they suspect that you're <laughs> nearby, they're gonna start yelling obscenities at you. Yeah. It's time to upgrade your tire inflator. No, it's, it's not. It's not an option, but in necessity. Tires are fine. Here's why. Get off me about it. You to get you to come out so they can fight you. But after talking to Devil Dog, yeah, must Rick, run on Vulcan. And again, two of the other guys who are with me trying to diagnose my issues, they told me that in the I don't most think so, build Seth. of the game, the AI I don't think are I'd a lot see easier vehicles. to handle. They react appropriately to the ballistic system that they were <laughs> yeah, advertising my, about two or three weeks ago. And being able to see that in action as well is AI sponginess is an easy fix really impressive however it's more subtle than what i thought it was going to be so moving into the early access launch or even the full release i want to see that system become more evident and apparent not saying that it's bad or that it's almost non-existent it's just not as blatant as people would think it's going to be now because of my embargo there are some things that i am not allowed to show on the screen oh come on redbeard However, I will give you guys the discretion of knowing that I had already talked to Rick and the others about the UI and UX when it comes to Gray Zone Warfare because genuinely it needs a little bit more work. Does that mean, does that mean we're not going to see looting, man? We're not going to see looting done to it it's intuitive and it works for the time being but if they were to release the game tomorrow with the ui that it has there's going to be a lot of upset people now the mission that we played is the same mission that you've seen in the raw gameplay video so you would go up to the <laughs> seth out you're trying to get him on technicalities the house snatch the phone move on to the other house snatch the objective leave and then go back to the main base and turn everything in and that sounds pretty linear when i'm telling you that but i can promise right, you once true. you clear through it the first time and kind of know where you're going you can take your time and just move throughout the environment because there's no mission timer you don't have a certain amount of time to get into the mission get out and go back to home base there's nothing like that you can yeah there's no raid timer it's it's gonna be really interesting to see how persistent servers change gameplay loops and take your sweet ass time and explore the environment and that's exactly what we did you know the 
Dang, Redbeard, that sucks because I want to see it but it probably means they're working on it attention to detail that was on the interior of the buildings on some of the object yeah the the map is so complete like and i know they're going to add more cover and density and stuff we haven't seen anything but the village but like just everything in these man on the weapons on the outsides of the building the streets the signage all of this shit just screams quality but with there's, all of the pros i've talked about so, so much far, detail there are a few things that i want to see added into this game before it comes into early access or even before the full release of this game number one the ai needs to be fixed first and foremost and i ai is a huge challenge with any game no that's i it wouldn't be surprised if that's a work in progress for a really long time something that's already been worked out in future builds but for the sake of this video i have that is true viking that's a really good point because if you think about like it's better to have people impatient jerks like me a little bit impatient right to see the ui and the looting and stuff it's better that than show something and everybody's like oh the looting sucks i hate it until it's to a point where they're ready to show it like first impressions are huge have makes to mention, sense right whether that be on the engine side the server side we need to find a fix for this almost a Annoying, but smart. Immediately. Another thing I would love to see these guys working on more is optimization for lower performing systems. Yeah. There's going to be a fair amount optimization of people who are playing will be ongoing. this game day one with lower spec hardware. Loot that guy. And i7s with 2080s. Or Just loot that guy. Or even older, potentially. And I understand that this game is going to be a newer generation game that's being made on Unreal Engine 5. So not everybody can be included, unfortunately, because that's way too much time and money that these guys are going to have to invest. It would be kind of unfair to expect these guys to have a build of Grey Zone Warfare ready What's for up, David? Happy Friday, systems. man. systems. But optimizing the Got build the coffee so going, at least baby. getting 60 frames consistently is something I want to see done before the game even comes out in early access. Because that is going to be a major thing that people will complain about regardless they did say for those of us about uh worried about performance and i'm right there with you optimization is huge um i think they showed uh you know when uh nvidia puts out promotional material for different games and stuff gray zone warfare was on there for dlss so not only is i think it's a good sign that this runs on vulcan uh there's also a good sign that it should have dlss and if they do dlss it doesn't seem like it's a super far step uh, for like FSR for AMD. So we don't have FSR and we don't have uh, DLSS yet. So we s could see some kind of super scaling like that. That might really help and take take some load off the CPU. If the game is good or not. I also They're super transparent stuff. Don't know how I would word this next bit. So I'm just going to try to explain it the best way I can. I would love for there to be a feature in the game where whenever you grab like a phone or a laptop, you can actively upload data in like a mini game sort of thing. I can see it almost kind of being similar to something that you would see in a game like Helldivers 2, whenever you're trying to call in like an ordinance drop or a strike. And that can be done either in the field, at the home base, or depending on the mission, it can be both. And to kind of pair on with that, I would love the ability to kind of just plan out missions on a planning board of sorts because in the base camp there's a little area where there's like a presentation board with chairs but you can't really do anything with that area there's also a little weight room i hope we get to interact with that there's also living quarters that i hope we get to was that blocked off where you couldn't examine your buddy that is really cool where you can heal your friends interact with as well so i guess to kind of start wrapping things up here even though i had so many issues at the beginning of this play test this is still probably my number one candidate for shooter of the year if the game comes out this year you know whenever i was in the middle of the play test, do i was to telling me. the others that even though i have this tarkov itch tarkov doesn't scratch that for me this game is doing a better job at scratching the tarkov itch than escape from tarkov easy red even though i don't like making the comparisons because it's starting easy. to get tiring gray zone still has to look at tarkov Tarkov is a number one. That A punch sucks, but it's not as. That A punch sucks, but it's reasonable on recovery. Looks like that dude broke your leg. Competitor. I also want to pair what your I'm legs about to broke. say next. You're still moving pretty good with a broken leg. Play test. You cannot. You can still sprint me. with a broken leg. Don't know if that's how it's going to be. What's up, Paul? Don't know how that's going to be. David, hope you're well. Um, yeah. He has a broken leg, and he's sprinting that this team does not give a shit about their people you cannot sit here and tell me that the devs made it
thoughts on that fake game to try to bolster attention you can't even sit here and tell me that they added me into the play test to try to boost my recoil is not horrible my ego and that the vip content creator role don't mean shit to them and i'll even go out on a limb and say this if it were any other studio my faith in the project would be immediately lost if ubisoft activision or any other triple a ubisoft studio were can't to keep their servers like running this, and i had the same exact issues with their game that i had with this one i would count myself out yeah, it's broken. There was a broken bone indicator and his legs red. Um, so I'm assuming he had a broken leg and was like still test. vibing. I would fully expect me to never play the game. I would fully expect not to hear anything from them. I would I like so you can pull up the mini map, but not go fully off your character. Like so wait. Not be in DMs with multiple There's a hotkey. Cool, cool. There's a hotkey. Where you can slide in a map. People trying to solve an issue. And not lose control of your character. I would an I file. These guys would simply forget about me and That's move sweet. the hell on. But Madfinger did exactly what dev studios are supposed to fucking like squad. do. Yeah. It's take care Looks of like the it. issues that have come up that nobody else was expecting. Is the game still releasing in quarter one of this year? No, it's not. But to be quite honest, I would much rather the game get delayed so nobody has a fucking issue versus the game coming out in just a few days and having more issues than what it's worth. These guys fully understood that they understood the assignment and they aced the goddamn test so for people out there redbeard what's wrong with your brain man what does that indicator mean dude you gotta get that trying checked to out smear man. this game and saying that it doesn't deserve respect it's a fake game fuck you i wouldn't think so john Most of these guys were up for days on end fixing this issue even after the play test had ended so even if you still decide that gray zone may not be a game for you you better show some respect to madfinger for what they did because if you do not respect these guys for what they did then that says a lot more about you than what it does about them but yeah guys i hope you love the video i'm gonna keep posting gray zone content as long as they keep sending me stuff make sure you follow their socials and join their discord all of that's gonna be in the pinned comment below this video and yeah let me know what you guys think about gray zone warfare are you guys gonna buy it day one or are you gonna wait a little bit let me know down below and while you're there go ahead and hit that like button that sub button and smash that notification bell for more content like this Sick, My man. Good video, Red. speak loud speak the truth and i will see you in the gray zone good video red uh i don't agree with everything but the big takeaway from that with me for me was guys go check out uh red's video and his channel sub to that man uh he does a good job his content's awesome. Um, so what I took away from that is the goods were, that's insane that they stayed up like all night to try to fix your game, right? Like they stayed up for two days to try to get you a working issue or a working game build. They fixed it. They found the issue. They fixed it and got it to run on AMD stuff. That's actually wild. Um, the other stuff, I'm a little bit bummed. We can't see looting yet. That's obviously a work in progress. The, uh, Oh, what do you what do you say? Like the optimization and stuff definitely needs work. Um, yeah, holy cow. There is there's a lot there, man. There's a lot there. Go check out the video sub to that man. Do it. Um, what are we gonna check out next, guys? Uh, did Big Fry have his video out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Fry had his video out. You guys wanna hit that one? Let's do it. Yeah, hit go over, watch, watch, uh, watch Redbeard's video. Uh, after the stream and uh, hit the like button and uh, sub to that man. Yeah, this is live, man. Let's go. Good stuff, Redbeard. Uh, so let's let's uh, let's check out Big Fries. I'm sure he won't mind. Is he gonna is he gonna DMCA my channel? <laughs> uh, thank you guys for being here. By the way, I really really appreciate it. This is fun. I I love this. Um, I, I did some of this stuff, uh, in the lead up to battlefield 2042 and, uh, man, appreciate it, man. Fun. Rilo too. Oh, for sure. Rilo. I even think, uh, I, I even think that, uh, Jack frags was there. So, you know, that video is going to go everywhere. It's just interesting to see what he has to say. Right. Chance to check out Gray Zone Warfare with a bunch of other content creators. This was a behind okay, the key scenes giveaways, dude. That'd be so sick, Gray Reaper. And I have a ton of thoughts on my experience with the game. Some good, some not so good. However, I do need to preface this video by saying this is obviously a look at an early vertical slice of a game currently in development and not on sale yet. This video is not sponsored. However, they have asked us to avoid showing things like the menus, the UI, and, and basically anything outside of the game itself, it, as they want to show this off at a later date. So with all of that said, 
Like the video if you Yo, get fries, any enjoyment. Is that really fries frame it, rate? Let's talk gray zone warfare. Top right was that frame rate? Woo. So right off the bat, the first thing you're going to notice is the visuals. The yes, game you is are. Obviously gorgeous. You're sure to supposed expected, to be seeing it. Built on Unreal Engine Five. I'm you a can pro. See the lighting through the trees and some of the shots. I'm a the super pro at this, guys. The mountains, the reflections on some of the water shots. It's beautiful, but. One huge caveat is this thing in the top right corner. Yeah, there it is, this Fry. This is my frame rate throughout the test. Now, for context, I'm running an Intel i9 12900K, an RTX 4080, and 64 gigs of RAM. And for most of my play session, I was running on high settings at 4K, getting anywhere oh. from 30 to 40 FPS. 4K. Not bad. But here's the thing. When I dropped all 4K, the resolution chat, 4K. down to 1440, went to medium settings, I'd be getting around 50 to 60, sometimes jumping to 80 when there wasn't a lot going on and the general sentiment around the testing group was that performance was kind of all over the place some people had great frame rates others were dipping into 15 to 20 range on builds with 30 80s the developers shout are out to you guys for running frame counters testing throughout the weekend with us building out some people's hardware in-house to nail some of these issues specifically with amd builds that's crazy they even pushed a patch out during this test which actually helped with the frame rate issues and got the amd users up and running with that from what I can tell, sick. that's the first time we've seen no it issue. It's not quite there yet, but seeing their willingness to push through the weekend to get these optimization issues right gives me a really good feeling. The mission we were on was called Rat's Nest, and we were tasked with retrieving a cell phone from a criminal hideout, moving to another nest, and grabbing some yeah, documents. Optimization and then is, uh, is on so you start the, the game list of things your to HQ, do. And then you can either switch in reticles. A helicopter to one of the LCs Huge. that you've discovered, or you can just choose to leave on foot. The helicopter is piloted. I wonder what the optimization is like. Because, like, it's not, it's not horrendous, right? Because we're seeing the whole map, and this is what I thought about in the other gameplay. It's like, the whole son of a bitch is rendered, right? The LOD on this game is crazy. Like, there's no trees popping in and out, depending on how close you are to them. So it's rendering the whole thing by AI and it's a simple transport chopper it takes off and comes back and you can call it in whenever you're close to an LZ once you land it's on your survival instincts kick in, John. and you need to be able to complete missions fight AI and in the final yeah. game other players but I just feel I just feel like optimization is one of the later things that you do so hopefully and they have that uh they have their I can't remember what it's called they have their own proprietary uh, engine working alongside Unreal 5 that I think works on that stuff. So maybe there's some some optimization stuff they can do to where, you know, when you're not visualizing something, it's not rendered. Like when you don't see when you, something's off your screen or behind a building, it's not rendered. So it can maybe help out. And you also need to yeah, manage this is their things alpha. like hydration and food. Scala. Yep, More John. on that yep. system later. We ran That's this it. mission multiple times throughout the weekend, including just taking strolls. I like how zeroing Falang, shows on your screen. Don't have to guess. And taking in the sights. Their environment design is some of the best in the business in terms of 3D assets within the buildings, the texture quality, the amount of things in this map. It's impressive. Where the game started to fall apart for me, though, was when we got into the combat, which I'm not going to lie, is super surprising for me to even be saying. Even though the animation work on the weapons is top notch, the gunplay itself feels very stiff and honestly just kind of lifeless. Recently, a devlog was released showing their ballistic systems, which are so in depth with different calibers reacting to different materials, creating larger chest cavities, things like ricochets off metal or ballistics. Does it really, John? That's cool. Woods and different materials, which then in turn have different effects on the yeah, trajectory of Yeah, I'm hoping for content down the road. The material. I'm really curious um, how they plan in the later stages to keep content fresh and tell me like one of my biggest things with a lot of extraction shooters is after you've done the progression once like is there going to be a wipe and then you have to do the exact same things over again like that's where you start to lose me but i, I mean i don't i don't know it's what the answer very is impressive on paper and in controlled environments like a firing range but shooting at ai in the game right now who aren't armored was honestly kind of a joke. I'm going to show you guys a clip from the recording where all three of us in our squad were shooting at a single target. 
Now, this was about three hours into the play session after dealing with multiple instances of, I guess you'd say, a lack of combat consistency. Take a look. Turned it on. What is this ad? I'm sorry, but. Oh my God, it's Jason Bourne. Let's watch it again without the ad. Combat consistency. Take a look. Turned it on. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, right here in front of me. Holy shit. <laughs> is that rope? It's Jason Bourne. Dude, what Drop the fuck ass. is going on? I'm not even him. Get fuck? over here. What the fuck is going <laughs> on? <laughs> Oh no! Uh, nice ponytail, Frosty. Um, dude. I shanked the shit out of him, dude. I shanked the shit out of him. <laughs> oh my god! Another one. So they've already said. I'm pretty sure they said that this is this is worked on and fixed. The big question is: Is this a bullet damage issue? Is this a AI health issue, or? Is this a hit reg issue, right? Yeah. So I, I don't know where the where the issue is. It doesn't look like those are hitting because we were seeing blood sprays, and I'm not seeing blood sprays there. Dude, where the fuck are my bullets going? So since we hide over boar. No, there is hide over boar. We did see that right there because he did hit the guardrail a couple times. So I know that's kind of a meme in Tarkov. Another one. Yeah, we're not getting we're not getting blood sprays that I can see. It is zoomed in and pixelated. Dude, but we do see boom bullets? right there. We're hitting the guardrail on that one. Let's going. So, so there is that. Yeah, it didn't it didn't seem that bad, Viking. Pulled out our feedback. A lot of people were running into this same issue. The AI just So yeah, desync and hit reg are completely different things. Um it would also be interesting to see. So they had to be playing on a server, right? Um so because they're all playing together in multiplayer, so it had to be a server. I don't know if it was locally hosted or a third-party server. They could have been connecting to servers locally at the studio, right? So these guys are stateside. Uh, they could have been hooking up to check servers. So that could be a thing. That could be an issue. Bullet packets are flying across a drink, getting across the ocean. Um, that could be an issue. Um, so we don't know, like ping, hit reg. So netcode and, and hit reg are two different things. Netcode is something about like the packet getting lost and like desync the, the client's version of the game does not match the server's version of the game. Hit reg is like the game code, the bullet hit, the game didn't count it. And the networking side's working fine. You have the networking side and then you have like the coding side as I understand it. So they're kind of two different things. We kind of interchangeably do hit reg and netcode desync. But uh, it's hard to tell. They could have been on really far away really servers. Tanky, and we weren't could sure if been. it was I a ballistic know. system issue or if it was a server issue. Since then, the developers came out in this testing environment group and they said, hey, the spongy AI, it should not work this way. Due to lag compensation, there is desync. We are already working lag comp and desync on lag compensation i have to tell you guys exactly what i experienced when i played this but i also want to fill in the gaps on what the developers do know and where their priorities Huge. are at so if this is a server issue great it needs to be fixed and working properly for launch or you're simply going to just lose everybody because it made the firefight so inconsistent. I had a whole part of this video where I was talking about the breakdowns of the ballistics and if it's not a server related issue, what is the issue? The developers know that it's a problem. They're working on it. Apparently it was a... Yeah, I don't know. That seems uh, kind of wild to me. I don't know. Server issue, a big server issue, and I'm hoping they can get this fixed for launch. Now, the other part of the combat is the AI and their effectiveness. And this is probably the biggest concern that I have in terms of a game design standpoint and the way the developer- <gasps> Fry, he did it. We did get to see looting. Sweet. So it shows dead body, see the gun. This dude didn't have a gun unless uh, Frost took it. But those are the Razer headsets that I was talking about, the walkers, and uh, yeah. Fallen, square bandage. You guys see anything crazy? 
FMJ. So uh, someone in my last video said no one packed a mag. It looks like bullets are separate from the mags. It looks like you pack mags. Um, I wouldn't think there'd be any other reason to have like bullets separate. Uh, First addressed our feedback in this one. Opens it. It comes up with a new window. Huh. Would rather it looked like this. Doesn't actually put my concern. The Glock is wild <laughs> with the, the laser hanging out in front. Huh. Turn it ease. So let's talk. Fanny packs. Game's got fanny talk packs. I'm the in. The number one issue that I have with this game, and that's the AI. They are set to basically spawn in, walk around. What do you guys think of uh, opening a separate window? Don't worry about it, David. Uh, what do you guys think of the uh, the window popping, <laughs> the extra window popping open? I don't know. How does Tarkov work? It just shows you like identical, right? Dude, I guess I played it so much in its autopilot. I don't even remember. That's wild. Round and shit. Yeah, the separate window is kind of weird. There were plenty of times where I extra shoot clicks. an AI and they would just run in weird circles or run back. And I'm seeing forth blood on in that. Like 180 degree increments, and they just acted very strange. It's early. It's a so and also again, guys. I'm a lot of this stuff. I'm just for discussion, and I'm talking out of my ass here. Okay. I'm just like you guys, we're watching this together. But stuff's going through my head. If they were having server issues with uh, hit reg and stuff, they could also be having server issues with like player position in relationship to the AI. So the AI has to know where players are to interact correctly. And if that's all desynced, like you're gonna Preview see it, right? Build of an alpha going to early access, that way. I get it. But the AI needs a lot of love. Sometimes the AI would just spawn in and do nothing. Yo, this is sick. Let me move my dumb head. Here is uh, the healing. So we finally get to see some of these, what they mean. Uh, so this, good deal. So this icon right here, I thought it meant you got hit in the head. It just means you're hurt. Uh, that means you're dizzy. Let's watch this again. I get it, but... The AI needs. Oh, uh, we can see. Notice here in the low left, losing blood. Out of love. Sometimes the AI would just spawn in. So use an advantage. Nothing. And when I mean nothing, they wouldn't even twitch. They would stand perfectly still. That scanning thing is kind of cool. Triggered by audio or visual. And when they're promoting. Whoa, this whoa, game whoa, whoa! Is that where the bullet hit? So is that is that indicator like where the actual bullet entered, or is that just like? highlighter showing you that your limbs jacked if that's actually where the bullet hit that's kind of sick that's kind of cool aim is this like every lunch for the past two no. months i've been eating huel instant milk cups and it's changed the game for me it's as easy as breathing open world that stays you know living and and active when you're not on it the ai uh, don't really land at full to capacity it's 48 living, breathing feeling they just feel at full like capacity it's 48 robots and obviously this was a major you know feedback it does, David. For a lot of people in this testing group the developers are aware of it and they know that it's early and they also say like try not to compare it to games that have been in development forever that have better ai and while I can understand that sentiment at the same time, you know, your average gamer is going to jump in here, jump into a couple combat scenarios and be like, what the Interesting. fuck? What do you guys think of that? When they can get those better experiences. So in this current state, it's likely being worked on from how everything sounds that you click open here, jump into a couple combat scenarios and it opens and a new like, window what the fuck you they know can use when it right they away. can get those better experiences insta search places, was cool it, it's it kind of really silly matter. like your searching experience goes like, up and you search are faster to compare this stuff regardless Tarkov, so weird. while they are aware of these issues with the ai just know going into this in the nicest way possible i can say it this is some of the worst AI that I've seen in an FPS. And when it's a PvPVE focused shooter with an emphasis. So that's a little bit worrying uh, because, you know, the AI being in a rough state, I expect it to be. AI has to be one of the absolute most challenging things to code of, of anything ever, right? Like crazy. Um, it has to be incredibly complicated. I'm not saying that. But where they want to go with the AI, they've talked about 
um, in devlogs and stuff before that they want to have the AI actually working on their own missions and doing stuff and not just acting like scavs where they see somebody, they aggro, they yell like they want it to actually be like doing stuff and carrying out things within the lore to where sometimes you kind of, you know, watch them for a while and see what they're doing. And it looks like they are a really, really long ways out from that. On the PVE and going against AI. That's true, Mike. Definitely a little bit disappointed. The biggest thing about the AI it's is cool. we never I saw really like the feedback. If it show if that was a bullet hit and shows you feedback where the bullet hit and what like organs were injured, that's so sick, man. Yo, what's up, Big Fry? I hope you're cool with me watching your video, man. <laughs> Get a DMCA me. It's all right. I'll take it down. Uh, but yeah, man, it's like uh it's a long ways from, from what they say that they want to do. Saw a single one inside a building either. We did <laughs> I appreciate see it, one man. Run from outside. We watched Redbeards earlier. Uh, that was crazy. We watched Redbeards earlier. Uh, he, he was cool with it, and uh, dude, it's crazy. I two in that they that they worked on his game like overnight and stuff. Side, but then he just ran right back out once he hit the door. Clearing buildings was essentially effortless, and there was no worry. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing things that we expect, and I was a little concerned about, right? Net code issues, AI issues, uh, and optimization about big entering time. a house and having somebody in there. I'm not even sure the nav mesh boundaries allow them. But those three reasons are again to go inside why it's at this in point. If I'm being completely honest, this entire market complex you guys are seeing here, a boss is supposed to spawn here with all of his cronies, and they spawn outside the building and not inside, which I felt very weird about because this looks like an awesome place. To have a firefight looks sick and we just never could get it so yeah that like actually sucked one thing i wanted to touch on is their food and water system if you played any survival game you know you right click a water bottle you pull it out you drink it your your energy goes up your hydration yeah 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 guys so i really think some of the now the ai is definitely too tanky because we're getting hit feedback with the blood sprays right like the first three bullets just vaporized actually suck on that fight one thing i want the first three, I don't know. Can we? The first three bullets just left the chat. Touch on is there food and water? Food and water. Mute that for a second. Then you shoot again. The first three bullets were just like, nah, ain't doing it. Repeak. Boom, nothing, boom, nothing, boom, nothing, boom, nothing. Yeah, like the fourth one. Like the fourth one. So I really wonder if uh if we weren't and this on like check servers, well. right? What this game if does that's wrong, like what's in going my opinion, on. is just how fast that depletes. <laughs> Yo, four, you got a them, dart in your neck, man. You're crazy. Like, okay, yeah, so that is it? But it's also super hot in the yo, 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 yo. That what is sick. What does wrong, in my opinion, is just how fast that deploys. That is sick. Please. That's, your, that's where the bullets hit. So I'm guessing, let's again, this is Crash. He talks out of his ass. Um, these could be armor hits. I would suspect you'd have armor over your vitals. So these are armor hits, hit in the wrist and hit in the knee. Dude. In game, like real time feedback on where you got hit is pretty sick. Like, that's pretty cool. Right, Timmy. Dude, I, man, that's the thing. I call it like I see it with issues and things, but it can't be stressed like how fucking difficult to make a game like this it would be from it. When I brought it up to them, studio, man, their response crazy. was kind of like, yeah, we could tweak it, but it's also super hot in the jungle. What do we got here, guys? Why does it always show me food and drinks? So YouTube's calling I don't me know, fat. man. Like I feel like this game has very realistic elements with you know the weapons, the visuals, the 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 medical system is insanely deep with you know serve kits and tourniquets and if, if you cool. play Tarkov, you know that it's definitely inspired by Tarkov and it's very realistic in that setting. But then we have things like packing mags can just like drag the, the ammo over the mag 
and that's it it fills the mag completely we have arcade elements we have streamlined hardcore elements hopefully and then we you have can double really, click on those things to open brutal, realistic food and water systems that i don't I, like i don't even think scum is as brutal as it is in this game Fry you're bleeding to do our yeah that's interesting that the food and water drops quick because um they did say that they wanted to uh make it not annoying like tarkov like and drop down as fast i thought i they didn't say tarkov but they didn't want to make it like as huge a deal as other games as other survival games that's interesting that it dropped Bags fast were full of of water and food and we really couldn't pick up anything because that's like we needed to have this stuff on us or we'd just get dehydrated man's got aggressive eat. and in my opinion i think they need to fix it i want to sum up all of my thoughts with this i know i've talked about a lot of negatives with this game and here's the thing i don't want to harp on them but i do want this game to be the best that it possibly can be if you guys remember what happened when daisy came out it, it had a cult following daisy is still killing it to this day daisy is the pinnacle of the survival genre when Tarkov came out, it became the pinnacle of the extraction shooter genre. And what I think Grey Zone Warfare can be in the future is a game that blends both of those genres together. This open world style extraction shooter. And yeah. I think that with the visuals and I would say the lack of jank and the solid foundation that the game offers at the current state, even with these issues, I still had a hell of a lot of fun even though we were pointing out issues and we were testing and we were trying to find the issues to talk about this game has a solid foundation that you can't find in yeah it there's nothing like it right damn near to have a realistic game cycle frontier did it a little bit with the persistent style servers but something that's just like a a survival style server that's just running it's persistent and then this like mission style gameplay loop like any other indie fps that i have played i think to almost anything that i have touched this game is starting off on the right foot day one early access launch if it is happening in quarter one of this year i don't think it's going to be the game that a lot of you guys are wanting this game to be but i think that's true i think if the developers can take the time over the next say 365 days or if they delay it which in my opinion i think they should get the optimization going get the ai working properly Agreed. uh second weapon slot on the right side notice that and get this game at day one launch to be the best game right now we're in a fanny be. pack i think this on, game man. is the day z and Come the on, tarkov man of the open world extraction genre. I, I I can foresee so many content creators jumping into this, making meta build loadouts with the customization like Tarkov has now, doing quest guides. I could see the, the long form kind of storytelling YouTubers, the Frankie on PCs, jumping in here and planning out long runs where you have to go from village to point of interest to point of interest to village, doing quests in like three to four hour spans and then chopping that up for content and i just see a lot of content creators bringing their communities on the road for gray zone warfare and after playing this weekend there are concerns no doubt about it but i'll be honest man i am so excited for the future I have a shit ton of content chopped up for this game, a bunch of different missions that we ran throughout the weekend. That's I'm gonna leave you with the best run that we possibly did that I think really solidifies what this game can potentially be. And this was a three man mission going through, collecting the cell phone and the Intel documents and completing rat's nest, a little bit unorthodox, but we got it. Most wearables only track your heart rate during strength training done if you guys enjoy the content leave a like think? on this video and leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of everything i think i'm that starting to get to like say. a really good i genuinely think this could be the game a really good feel a for what we're dealing with tarkov and brings a lot of people from day z into a more milsim because that is true experience. And when you're combining games that, like that it also does so much when there's such a so much. thank you for supporting the channel all when there's such a so non-structured way to play the game early and give you guys my raw honest thoughts my name is Big Friday. There's Thank such a wide variety this. of content. This is Gray Zone Warfare. Let's watch this mission. So, what's interesting to me is I'm starting to form a picture of where I think this game sits. And if you 
I think if people want to stick with it and the developers have the means and the ways to, to be able to fund everything to get through the development time that this game needs, a game of this caliber needs, it's going to be sick. It's going to be sick. It has things that I half-ass expected. Netcode issues, AI issues, optimization issues. Those are things that AAA studios struggle with. Many, many games that we love struggle with those things. Those are going to be an ongoing work in progress, but I think there's enough here to see what the vision is, which is pretty cool. And the other side of that is what, what Brian made a really good point with the content creators. It's like you have like PVP chads that can really get into this, but with the non-structured way you play and the persistent servers and the unpredictability of it, some of the story type creators like, like Deef and stuff, are going to make some really sick story content with this. Um, so you can play it different ways and stuff like that. Um, yeah, man. It's really cool. You hate the way they hold the grip? Dude, I don't know how you'd ever hold a grip like that without having your thumb up. I'm with you on that. Like, I guess I'm left-handed. I'm a left-handed shooter, so it's backwards. But Yeah, you can kind of tell when games come out that if they oh, have uh, see one guy promise or not. I'm oh, he's up. running towards us. I'm going to move up river. I got him. There's nice. one more. He's uh, somewhere west southwest. Yo, there's some distances to That's close here. The other thing is, what is this What is this jungle going to be like when there's day-night cycles, man? Yep. He's dead. Dropped good, him. Good shots. Good shots. Sweet. All right, move up. When there's day-night cycles, thermals, and NVGs yep, in the jungle, good. holy shit. Where their bodies let's get some loot yep. uh, that's gonna be a that's on. gonna be a point far c yeah yeah, yeah. Of, uh, whoever's on my right fix some of these glaring issues get a workable release yo having that body like roll over like that's kind of cool cover me <laughs> yep got yep. you checking he's got a couple of sodies he's got some, anybody using ak's negative uh, no sir oh fry with the yeah, rk team in the back pops. um take those i guess uh this is swiped yep uh we're checking out we checked out Redbeard mortis's video earlier oh, and now we're checking out big fry's uh playthrough so we're getting some comms and stuff all right let's go pushing far right is that flow up. on my left then i am on the road now oh I just got, got you yep. okay yeah yeah he got lit the fuck up mm -hmm. flow yeah he wrapped around oh sure Alrighty. all right flow Head off to the right side of the road and let's get into that sawmill and start taking that out. Yeah, let's do it. I just oh oh in front front front. front at us. Yep. Good He's kill. Down. Is that a cut? Keep what moving was that? into the tree line. Yeah, man. The Red, you good? frame rates are super low, yes, but sir. I think uh, Fry's in 4K. All right, yeah, we're gonna sneak across past that fence. Yep, I'm checking down the road. We seem clear. You guys ready to cross? Yeah, checking your right. Go ahead. Go. I like the Red, pace. You go first. Go I like the pace and the working together. Bummer. Guys, I don't think we're going to see PvP. Yeah, they're, Josh, for that, they're going to have to get the AI dialed in. They're going to have to really... if they're ha Especially if they're having PvE-only servers. You got a lot of work to do on the AI, it looks like. Direct contact. There's someone southwest. Southwest, Roger. You got it covered? This is the all-new Snap 4 Lux, the phone grip that doesn't suck. No way. It's made from air How about just holding your phone on your own? Be yes, cool, sir. too. Okay. Flow, you're clear. Looking good. The sprinting animations. Yes, Coming to you. Man, I don't know. Oh, if right here, southwest. I don't know if anybody's done, done like, some crazy Cover good. Me. Yeah, you got a light bleed? Okay, can't patch that shit up. Oh, dude, you can see the bone got hit. That's sick. It turned to yellow. Lots um, of road to y'all's right. I feel like sprinting animations in a lot of games are weird. Squad especially. What do you... Like in squad, man, like the sprinting animations are wild. Have you sprinted with a gun in real life? I'm good to go. All right, let's keep No. Going. Do I know where the cell phone is? <laughs> my uh, my six foot six, three hundred and fifty pound ass uh, is not sprinting with a loaded road, firearm. Leave, right? 
Sorry. <laughs> building. Uh, yeah, it should, it should be. Yeah, Fave. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's gonna be cool to see how uh, Auntie does uh, the developer for Red Vostok, how he does with with AI. He showed a little bit in his devlogs of how he's working with it. We should expect that if you're right if here. you're into PVE, yep. um, Josh, make sure you're keeping track of Road to Vostok. Uh, that's that might be a really good game for you too, Josh. I'm peeking left into market. Not seeing anything yet. I don't think it would be fun either, Mike. I, I'm not. You're not going to catch oh, my giant north, ogre north, ass north. sprinting with a gun. Unless stuff's really market, weird. Watch behind okay. us. Watch behind us north. Watch behind us north. Whoa, that Red blood was wild. Pull, pull back. You're hurt. Yep, I am. Pull Red, back. Red, cover that corner of us. That blood animation was wild. He's dead. Good shit. One more. There's more. Yeah, there's more. He's dead. There's one more right behind him. He's dead. Another one He's behind dead. him down the road a little bit. Directly south. Come back in. Two, two there, two there. That oh, tech looks him. nice. He's dead. Reloading. I pushed in far right. One All up right. the back of the market. Low, watch your left. Yeah, that's true, John. I feel like the speed of running oh, also has to do with like the size of the map. He's like, because there's no get vehicles get in this one, so you need to like be able to get around without being really annoying. All right, I'm hurt. I'm not bleeding, but I'm hurt. All right, you got a server or anything? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, let me go ahead and duck behind this building behind us. Behind us, I think we have contact. Yeah, those are probably those guys I heard. What does that mean? Using surge kit, standby. Dude, we got to get an absolute encyclopedia, uh, man. Inside market? We got to get an encyclopedia no, for... Uh, on the yes, side sir. of it. Gotcha, I see you. There's someone on the road. On the road. For north. what those uh, indicators mean at the top. Yo, shout out Fry oh, for I the multi-cam, dude. I hit him once. I hit him once. Got to pull back. He's, That's he's sick, man. Me. Good shit, dude. I'm still in surgery. Fuck. Hold on. He's moving back. Oh, help. Oh, he hit me, he hit me, he hit me. Ah. Yeah, I need help. Thank you, thank you. All right, pull him back. Yo, I love the cuts, man. That's cool. Now that I know what's going on. Good kill, cover. Fry with the multi-cam edit, baby. Okay, well, oh, he took one of the neck. the neck. Okay, let's bandage that first. It's only a flesh wound. Flo, are you back in the fight? Arm yep, stamina I'm getting in. low. Super right, cool, so John. Cover me. I'm going to try to help Fry heal. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yep, you're good. Stay, stay on cover, Red. I don't want to take two eyes off. I'm good. <laughs> Dickhead rock, yeah. All right, cool. There's a lot of dickhead rocks. All right, yeah, we're looking good, guys. Give me one sec. Drink up if you guys have it. I don't have any water in my pack. Come here. So, good Drink. Fuck yeah. Where is that in the low? Okay. Low low. Loot these guys. See if they have any like nectars or cans or anything like that. If you guys need hydration. I'm good for now. Yeah, right, that does go down fast. Back to these guys in the top. Or in the, it does in look pretty fun, area. man. Yep. Yeah, the one on the right is like your running stand, and the left one, I believe, is your arm stand. Oh, I'm hearing shots yeah, yeah. southwest. That's what I'm hearing. I like the zeroing. You guys like that oh, on the yeah, right, yeah, like the, the HUD? Hold on. I got cover. I got one. Nice. Good you guys like the HUD? Like you can actually see where your zero is at. You can see your fire mode just at a glance. Where's that? I know. I'm sure you can turn that off. Like it might not be like immersive for some people, but. All right. I'm on the yeah yeah it's definitely I think it's super practical. You guys see him? Oh fuck me! I just got your hit. Your hit. Okay, get to cover. Get to cover. Uh, I'm gonna jump to this. Uh, I got him. Good He's shot. Dead. Good shot. All right, Red, where are you? you Got to lower a sense, boys. I'm right at the entrance. You got to do a the scum route. Oh, I don't think so, David. I don't think it'll get that crazy, man. Do you really? Surge kit. Doing some surgery right now. I'll wrap myself up with a bandage, then we'll get moving. There's not gonna be that much. I watch. I watch your. How small the gun models are. Yeah, I'm trying to tell because I thought I thought they did that um, kind of realistically. And I guess if this wasn't YouTube, I would grab my AR that's behind me and uh, handle it. But I don't want to get banned. So, um, yeah, I th the way I understood it in the devlog, they actually live scanned these guns with uh, scanners and like photogrammetry and LiDAR, like modeled them into the game. And... <laughs> Yeah, I just mean a lot of those, a lot of those handguards and shrouds and those M-lock rails and stuff aren't that huge. Okay. 
flow. Do you know where the I don't know. is from here? And I know the gun sides can also keep heading left, right? change so. with FOV. Yeah, we gotta go down this end of the road, hook a right. That's interesting. Yes, I'd be interested to see yeah, like how, still how that hard. actually is. I'm taking yeah. ibuprofen, I, uh, surgery arm kit. stamina. Uh, yeah, Tarkov's had that for a while. Where you're hurt, or yes, it shows like a yellow bone. Oh, you. That's oh, it. you. You. You have a fracture. Come here. You have to splint. Oh. Oh. Okay. I got. Yep, go ahead. There you go. You have a splint. Yep. Yeah, I do. Watch. Fix yeah. your arm, man. Watch, uh, Dang it. Taking this little bitch a scorpion, bro. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That fixes a higher it. FOV would make yeah, it look smaller. Road. I'm not seeing like Across things road, indicative of a high road. FOV though. Like, Let's keep moving. Watch our left. Watch our left. The fisheye like distortion yeah. though, but Clear. it's really hard to tell. Frame rates are really low. Gunfire, oh, gunfire got, front I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna cross left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Crossing left, getting into the house. Yeah, open that door. Open that door. Maybe they should release this game at the same time. Nvidia 5000 I series launches. On the other side of the fence there. Oh, there's another one further down northwest. One on the Take notes, I'm not gonna repeat myself. <sighs> Do I gotta buy YouTube okay. Premium? Street right in front. This is what I need. Everybody yeah, needs more subscriptions. Oh, hold up. Jeez. One Come second, up. I'm getting hit. Red, we gotta put we gotta push up with flow here. Yeah. Uh flow, give me a Man, I've seen people take a lot of hits. Uh, on the street right in front of me west. But no one's getting head oh, eyes yes. from a scab through a oh, bush. Shit, Fry, that's gonna be straight across from yeah, I'm, lo I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't oh. see him. Sorry, now he's southwest. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I yeah, didn't think so part. earlier, Fave. Right. Can you get a um, earlier, I I swear that oh, someone oh, on Red's video, oh, good, good, he got good, a broken good. leg, and that's just because I saw on the top that the leg was red, and there was a broken, a broken, oh, broken oh, bone yeah, indicator. So there was a broken bone indicator. His leg was red, and he was able to sprint away. So don't know if that's the work in progress or not. <laughs> I'm kidding, Fibs. I'm kidding. Uh, there's a list of them. Uh, ramp on, I think, Steam, but there's only eight. So far, ARs I've seen. Uh, so far, what I've seen, uh, Mark 18, uh, M4, AK, Glock, and I saw an AI with a Scorpion. Pull back. That's what I've seen so far. What the fuck is going on? Red, pull back to us. Pull but they're working on somewhere. adding more. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I'm shot. I'm shot in the motherfucking arm, dude. Is that what they really want us to do right now? <laughs> All right, let's bandage up and go. You got a dart in your neck. Fuck these guys. All right. Yep. Dude, Red, you're hitting the neck. I got hit in the damn neck twice right. in the arm and once Slow. in the wrist. I'm, a, I'm gonna peek door. You Health feels kind of tanky, let's man. Just hold this until Red's good. Yep. He's dead. You good? Yeah. One nice. started rushing. See, I that looked reasonable. I think it's a net code thing, oh, man. I think it's like Shit, a there's another one forward. Deal. I just don't have visual. Oh, I'm getting yep. getting shot oh, at. Him. Okay, you want to take him out? He's dead. Oh, he Ooh, could open that clean. box. Good shit. All right, Red. Whenever you're ready, move up to us. You're way louder. Yes, All right. Here. Down yeah, they've south. definitely talked We're about audio. I think a lot of people have uh, talked oh, about I hear audio. To my left, flow. My left. Southwest. Yep. Got the him. suppressor oh, sounds shit. okay. Right, Red, make your way I'm a to, little to bit flow. bummed because because we're gonna have to hook this road. Right and it could be flow. being worked on. I just remembered in the uh, the ballistics strong. thing that they that's talked the, about the compound we have to get into uh, different audio with bullet travel sounds. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, Road to Vostok's working on that too. Ooh, Red, let me know when you're. But on if floor. you guys if you guys have ever shot suppressed, there is a massive difference between supersonic and subsonic ammo because the bullet breaks the sound barrier and it actually makes a supersonic crack like a jet when it breaks the sound barrier the sonic boom or whatever and i i would love to hear some of those bullet travel sounds It'd be really cool what's up flow what Found do you see one. killed another one nice all right there's a We're suppressed good. mosin and another bolt action they give them me yeah i think okay, there's eight guns total yellow. do i need a sur surgery you might be uh, dehydrated sorry. negative and i did i also saw a shotgun yep. not sure if it was like a mossberg or a remington but i saw a shotgun in uh, right, in one of the key here. art images too. Uh, I'm right here in front of. Uh, so there's a shot, and we've seen I, I seven millimeter buckshot. I'm at the corner. Corner. We're just across the. Oh, oh we're yeah, right in front of you. Yep. Yep. Okay. Hey, how are you guys doing on ammo? Uh, oh, plenty. If here. you guys need any, let me know. I brought like. I'm gonna pack some mags here quick. Oh yeah, I'm fucking set. I got I got three full. Mags. So so far the mags are just into the pack. Mags like like Tarkov was at launch. Uh, five five six flow. Yeah, I have uh, I have about 400 rounds left. Can you drop me a stack? Yep. 
Uh, this is uh, Big Fry, Alan. This is content creators. So Big Fry and uh, and his uh, oh, I got it. his I got friends it. and content creators. Was that, was that a full? Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. We got to head uh, north, you said, or, or south? Um, we had to hook up right at the end of the road, yeah? Uh, I'm trying to think here. Um, I think we might actually have to move south across the market. I think we have to move south as well, yep. Do you guys feel like they turned down the ambient audio? I remember in the first gameplay... It was like the frogs and the birds and stuff. It's not as deafening to me now. All right. I heard gunshots southwest, southwest. I heard gunshots right side of the road. I hope so, Alan. Oh, I see one northeast. Got him. He's dead. Good shot. All right, let's start moving, making our way down. Red, you're a little bit ahead of us. We don't have clearance on your left. Yes, sir. Yeah, get up to that truck and just wait for us to move. The map Ooh, looks yeah, crazy, man. Oh, one south, I believe. Yeah. He's dead. Got he him. Counted all those. Shot. Don't get too cocky. Oh. Got one. Good shot. Good shot. Man, he had us dead to rights. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna take us down to the sub objective, correct? I think so. Yeah, the yeah, sub objective right is just in this building. Man, I don't think. Are the spray animations really that bad? Or am I just used to seeing people run ri like rigid cardboard and squad? Mm -hmm. There should be some intel docs inside on the on the uh, table. Uh, they have been hitting him, Garrett. They have been hitting him, but the AI is yeah, right. is probably the biggest thing that needs work that that we've seen and what we've been hearing. Um, Why choose a sleep number smart bed? Can it keep me warm? So, cold? wait, no, I'm always hot. Sleep. It is dark should be right here on the table. Yep. But they have door. they have taken quite yep, a few hits. Convicts notepad. You got that red? Uh no sir. Let me go ahead and grab that. Nice. Oh, there's plenty awesome. of painkillers in here actually. Holy shit. Yeah, Dom, hundred percent, man. And are you guys ready to move? And like me Yeah, let's move out. Like I pretty sure I want to be really to honest with the community, with my community, especially yeah, like you guys come is. first. Like it's in between in, in content and, and stuff. We got to go to the south side of this. So yeah. then there should be a back alley. I want to be excited for this game because I can see the potential. If this game has as much time as other games in this genre have gotten, where where it's at this point right now is insane for a pre-alpha game that's only been worked on a couple years. Right here, I believe. This has such a great foundation. Go through clear right, and it's so it. hard because. Because yep, if I say up. stuff like that, people are like, oh, you're a shill. This, you're hyping this game up too much. And then I go back and I say, awesome. man, they really got to work. They really got to work on netcode, man. Like the AI needs a lot of work. Optimization is pretty rough. And people are like, why are you hating on it? It's a pre-alpha. So it's hard for me to like have opinions on it. Okay, cross the road if you guys are good. But and left. To, to break it all down for where I'm sitting right now, this game looks amazing and has a ton of potential. Follow but over. those are the three areas that needs a lot of work. Ooh, and that's just where it's at. I killed one. Nice. Ah, uh, shit, I'm bleeding. Get to us. Get to us inside compound. Yeah, the jungles and lighting. Yo. Right it's kind of like Far Cry ish, too. I don't know. That's a lie. Somebody's up front. Oh, oh. You see him. You see but yeah, I'm with you, you, you Dom. Like, you got to get him. You got to get him. I'm fucked up. It's, I feel like it should be okay. Good shit. It should be okay to respectfully say, hey, the AI needs work. The optimization needs work. Um, so audio uh needs some work, but I'm still hyped. Like that's that that's a legit opinion. I feel like, and people just take it super far one way or the other. Shit, hold on, I'm getting to exactly Viking. I'm a super hardcore hater shill and love this game, but I hate it. But it's amazing, but it's trash. Get it? Yeah. You guys, yeah, I'm trying I to get cover. Yeah. Red, hold that shit down. Hold that shit down. I'm coming to you. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh man! Got a medium bleed. bleed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The sound is a little weird. A little bit. I'm still hurt. Um. <laughs> let me just. Let me oh, just right in the neck, man. Quick. But I think the pink hit indicator what, means uh, it was. Uh, your lungs flow? Do you know? Uh, it was yeah, armor. It yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Or does that mean it's vitals? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try this here. Doing a little surgery. Oh yeah, shot. <laughs> On point. Yeah, you get it.
I hear I hear Southwest, voices. Southwest. Yeah, Southwest Yo, let's let's watch that one next. We'll probably watch that one next right, and in stream with that because that'll be some good stuff. No, 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 you're all good. We'll probably watch uh, Jack right. Frags. I'm coming. I'm coming to you. Where are you? Right here. In the I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. Um, I just really wanted to kind of do a chat with you guys, see where you guys were feeling. I hear him. I hear him. And we've had a bunch of new folks over the last you know few weeks hitting the YouTube channel. I just wanted to interact with you guys and honestly tell you thanks as well. One dead outside. Awesome. Moving in. Moving interior. See, I think his legs broke, right, chat? He's got a red leg and a broken, broken. Why can't I say broken bone? A broken bone indicator. Zero. I'm applying a splint. Yeah, zero additional contacts. We're good. Roger. Yeah, Tarkov started with factory. A couple weapons. Now we should have to go upstairs. Three traders, maybe. Bone should be upstairs on a desk. Um, they quickly added woods after. But I mean, all right, there we go. I'm good. All right, there's our phone. Sweet. Did we get Did we get rid of those guys southwest? Yes. Yeah, they did, Seth, didn't they? They went we the should. other way. All right. You guys want to fall back to LZ one or two? Let's oh man, I say uh, we're closest to LZ two, but we should go LZ one, in my opinion. You guys want to go LZ one? Just clear this whole fucking. DTP yoga saves lives. In village. Let's do it. You know what? All right. Fuck it. Southeast clear. Yep, looking up northwest, I see one. I see you guys moving. Coming to you. A get house magazine? Oh, no. What about the pay blade ploy? Bay ploys? Uh, directly uh, no. down this road. Northwest. Gotcha. Did, you, uh, did I miss something, John? You can open windows? That's sick. Oh, one left. Got him. Okay, unfortunately, I have a light bleeding and no bandages. Do you guys have right, one? Yeah, yeah, get in here, get in yep, here. I got one, I got one. Drop one for him. Here. Yep. Thank you. And I'll drop you an additional gauze, too. Bullet paper. Appreciate it. Oh, they should have tried to heal Please each other. Civilian gauze. Civilian gauze, best gauze. Oh, yeah. Yo, sounds good, David. Take care, man. Thanks for popping in. Uh, have a good weekend, man. And food. Checking right away here and just checking my weapon. Yep. I know, Viking. Why you got to hit me hard like that? Viking's out here asking the real questions. Food. Let me eat this chalky bar here. Cover me. Pull him back. I should go ask my wife. She's like, you want another subscription to something? Oh, you are much <laughs> I can hear it now. Loud as hell. Oh, my yeah, God. There's peanuts in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to, Gary. Might have to get the 5090 to run this, baby. It is. I'm not used to sucking dick. All right. You guys ready to rock? Oh. Taking a painkiller? <laughs> that's pretty cool, John. Good catch, man. That's what, That's another reason I really like doing these kinds of streams, because you guys catch stuff that I don't. Hurt got straight to fucking. <laughs> we'll cheer more bits for preview. You got a bit problem, Seth. All right, Flo. Come on. Get with the program. Let's go. I'm bad. My bad. I have like t 10 <laughs> magazines. Yeah, I need yeah life hack. No, you can watch right. my Twitch streams for free, buddy. Like down to my last two, I think. Crazy. Say no. I stream on Twitch almost every day. Twitch.tv slash crash eight. Yep. Crashes right, one through seven were taken. Left. It's not my fault. Oh, yeah. I do the best I can. You can watch over there for free, Seth. Free. Keep your money. I think I do hear something. I just like hanging out with you guys. Maybe that's just red. The ads are kind of funny. And I feel like they're a bit targeted. Let's just move, move past. Watch your right. It's also right. trying to tell me that, hey, crash. Yep. This Time for you to go to the gym, buddy. Uh, yeah, and you're not at the gym. The same guys could be there. We're good. Uh, yeah. Remember there's there's weight. There's a weight rating when he uh, opened the UI. In the low left, there's a there's a weight limit. He was in the yellow. I don't know what it does for movement, and I don't know what there is about inertia and stuff. It doesn't feel like there's inertia. So yeah, there's still a lot to remain to be seen on PvP. I'm I'm, I'm kind of bummed. We that we're probably not going to see PvP, but from there. you guys know from what we've seen, server side hitting the AI, the road down. PvP would be pretty rough, right, in this uh, build, so I get it. Past town hall into the PvP woods, probably needs some work, but yeah, I don't know if there's inertia. It's hard to tell without controlling it myself, oh. you know? I hear oh. voices, town hall, town hall. Yep. Yeah, south, yeah, south. I see him, I see him. That He's just walking cool. out the front door. He's dead, there's another one, another one, another one. The audio directionality's been really good, which is a really good sign. I don't have confirmed. So like it the looks sound like stage and space though. makes sense. Yep, should be dead. 
All right, advance. I'll, move I'll, up, move I'll up, move confirm. up. That's a really good sign. Get across, get across. He is dead. He is dead. Roger, roger. Oh, 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 oh yeah, up, 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 up. He's, he's dead, dead, he's dead. Keep moving. Reloading. I like the suppressor sound, but it'd be sick if the bullets crack. Clear. All right. We're moving, moving up, up the yeah, hill. Yeah, moving up the hill to the road. No dead I checks. voice is off to our right. North Rule number eight, careful. double tap. Copy. Oh, crap. Let's cross, cross, let's cross. cross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull back, pull back. Watch this compound to our left. I don't really, I don't really want to engage anybody in these, but I don't either. Let's just go. What do you think day night cycles will look like? All right, avert, head straight south from here. Yep. The map looks so good, man. There's our LZ. All right, I'll go ahead and call it in. Yeah, do that. So guys, after this one, around. let's watch this through, and then we're gonna hit up a. Uh, we're gonna hit up a. a the Jack Frags video with Devil Dog, and there's uh, allegedly some good info in there. And we'll talk about it. Copy. All right, we got our heli inbound. Beautiful. The map, does, the map is right. like the most impressive thing. How is this gonna work, guys? I This is a valid question, like how extract camps and stuff will work like that. But I just feel like and people were worried about like the helicopters obviously have to land in a wide open area. So you're going to be kind of sitting ducks if people see that. But why I why I personally don't think that extract camping is going to be a thing is because the persistent servers, it's not like Tarkov. It's not like where, hey, there's 15 minutes left in the raid. People are going to be start extracting. Let's go there. For one thing, there's a bunch of LZs. Also, there's no set time people are going to be extracting. So if you're camping on LZ, you might be there. Like, you might be there forever, dude. It does, John. A lot of creators probably did some some color correcting and stuff like that too, and maybe some sharpening. All right, boys, we're going on. Let's go. We'll go see on. the map here. This is gonna be a good feeling after a good mission, and you get get the heck out. I'm getting lifted out, man. This is cool. And I'm getting sick. That was a great run. That was. Gun model doesn't look small there. <laughs> uh, yo, let's see what uh, let's see what Jack Frags is cooking. Oh, guys, duh. I know, I know. I'm uh, I'm. There's not a planet or a universe where you know about my channel and don't know about Big Fries. Um, but that's the video we watched. So uh, definitely give it some love. You guys know Big Fry. Appreciate it, man. Crazy Warfare gameplay impressions. All right, guys. Yo, these are amazing. Wow. Wow. That's good. Yo, thanks, wow, dude. Guys, we got, let's do, uh, how long have we been streaming? Like an hour and a half? I told you okay, let's watch this with Jack Frags. I think there's going to be Welcome some good stuff in here. I actually um, need to use the restroom really quick. I drank a bunch of uh, coffee. So I will be right back in like two seconds.
All right, sorry guys. Sorry guys, I'm back. I'm back. Dude, that's a great question, Viking. I wonder if you can get shot from the chopper. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine the absolute roller coaster of emotions if you get smoked out of the chopper and then, or like you have a really good run and you get a mission done that you've been trying on for like hours and you finally get it done and you're like, yes, I'm going to get out of here, dude. Here we go. And then get on the chopper, dink to the noggin. You just fall off of it. And it makes me like, Whew, that's wild. That'd be some wild emotion, man. <laughs> I have to imagine, dude, that'd be such a bummer, man. That would be, that's the equivalent of extract, getting extract camped, right? Like you get a, you get a mission done and then boom, you get smoked out of the chopper, man. Oh, that would be heartbreaking. To say the least. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do here. Uh, we'll watch this, watch this one more video, uh, Jack frags and, uh, chat said, you guys said that he's playing with devil dog. who's a community manager. So we might get some info here because it's Jack frags. Warfare gameplay. I was kindly given access to play an early work in progress build of the game. This is Unreal Engine 5 PvPVE. I've got Tomo and Aculite with me here too. And the developers are going to walk us through one of the early missions here. Enjoy. Bye, Heli. So cool. Okay. Hello, Heli. We already cleared the landing zone. Oh yeah, get out of the way. Yeah. Right, the other team's coming in on the helicopter here. I just want to give it a hug. <laughs> well, it wants to give you a hug as well, but... Go give that rotor blade a hug in the back. <laughs> yeah. See what happens. <laughs> Not a good idea. Yeah, I can see that being a thing. I'm a sharp person. <laughs> so we're only doing this one mission today, right? Yep. Yep, you're yep. doing this one mission and then we're going to leave you three to... Just go and hit it as many different ways as you want. Okay. Which, I don't know, did you guys have a lot of luck yesterday, or did you guys die a lot? I think uh, we did okay. Uh, yeah, there was, there was deaths. <laughs> Mostly, uh, I was all around fault. Tom in the forehead once. Yeah. Did what about that. the mic quality on <laughs> these guys, I see Tom huh? carrying the nice backpack. Why can't like my teammates ever have mics like this? No, I think that's me. That's oh, me. that's you? Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Like Volume good, chat. Body. So they're obviously going for a very immersive tactical simulator type game here if i hold middle mouse i can look around the classic armor style you know you can walk forward and take in your surroundings shift v yep. is what was that one it's mag check and then uh alt alt v goes through all functions they've got some really cool bullet ballistic stuff in this game as well those are sick to show you the little version of the map here that's the lz that we dropped in at yeah, the heli does definitely fly low. And we move in towards this little town, village, I suppose. This scope that I've got too, it's got different levels of magnification on. Vortex scope. So I can just scroll wheel, zoom in, zoom out. And that's our lead over there, so we're going to go sync up with him. I hope I, nobody will kill me. Um, thought it was only three. Well, what's up, Viking? Is uh, since it's uh, the big time content creators, the devs also came in on a chopper and are working with them. So, if we also remember from uh, some of the dev logs that um, 16 players are going to be on a faction, so I'm guessing these the developers are on a different squad but on the same faction and they're just running the same squad because they did say you can work with other squads. So, I'm guessing they just ran that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tessa, this is gameplay footage from uh, content creators. So today we're watching uh, different gameplay from uh, from content creators and stuff like that. Adam's usually the one to, to die first. Yes, yes, usually. Oh. Yeah, you can fight him. He must have spotted us. Next to Vana. He's dead. My beard sucks. Somebody's My beard's badass. Shit. I don't know why I'm getting this commercial. Place. Makes no sense. Main reasons men are dead. These are just the starter AI. They're like criminals. Criminals, you say? Yeah, they're, they're kind of like the drug dealers. They're like a gang mm -hmm. that took over this place, and that's what they're doing. But uh, there's like tons of different AI factions that are all variable difficulty. Nice. Lord West. Okay. okay. These guys they, all, the they also have emotion states. So if they kill one of us and they see it, they'll get really confident and start pushing us harder. And if we start really 
stomping on them, they'll kind of be a little more less aggressive and see the AI sounds really cool. I'm guessing that's Devil Dog talking. Careful. But they I just hope they can get it there because it doesn't feel like it from watching it. That's interesting. I suppose that adds some variety to the combat. I want Jack to go second. Just so you can take point. Yeah, you shouldn't trust me, Connor. <laughs> no, no, it's just so you can you can shoot things and get the feel for it. And get shot first. Probably, yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta take up the back. Anybody else want to play American here. Truck Simulator on this map? We don't seem to have much cover here. What exactly is the mission again? What are our objectives at this location? Uh, we have to get um, some intelligence items from two different, uh, like, rat's nests. They're little gang hideouts in the town. Okie dokie. Uh, uh, southwest, there is yeah. contact. Two guys on the road. Southwest. Dude, the LOD still blows my mind, man. Three guys, it looks like. Yep, they, southwest. They about it. Yeah, I can see him. They're gonna see us in about 10 seconds. Can we take them out from this range? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm ready, let's go. I don't think they spotted us at all, have they? Nice. Get the lighted red and white somewhere. Front, front. Yo, I'm gonna go prone here. Don't like this. He's in front Same. of the house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Same. I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm moving up. Took some suppression. Okay. Nice. I might not like nice. the suppression. In the though. shoulder, thank the Lord. Mm. It looks like they've got properly 3D rendered scopes here too. Tactical sprint as well. Little burst of speed if you want it. You can move straight to the city. Man, does Keep Jack Frag's voice ever just get you into thinking about Battlefield? The old Battlefield days, go. man. Dang it. Big map, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so, Drew. I don't think so yet. Any goodies on this guy? You can loot the NPCs then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, take a look. Oh, nope, shots right. 345. Hey, he's at the wall. They did have, I have seen some creators and stuff have gotten some like super sick hoodies from, from them and stuff. So I, I don't think they have like really anything yet. They haven't taken, and that's another thing to think about. Like we're approaching early access and stuff and they haven't done any kind of Kickstarter or anything. Like they haven't taken money from the community at all. So definitely to be committed. Back in the main Battlefield 3, yeah, man. Yeah. The scopes do look really good. Cool. Yeah. I see him. I have a shot on him. He's down. Nice shot. Nice. 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 Hey, the AI is working better for Jack. The over there. Coming in. You want some, uh, some iced coffee here, Jack? Sure, yeah. It's on the table. <laughs> Jack got those good, good servers. Have you man. acquired? You know, there's a little window here as well. Fall out. I would love if you'd have got shot then, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Mid vault. Why would you love that, Jack? <laughs> the silence is concerning. There's a barrel point in the back of my head right now. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> oh, do these graffiti symbols start out as like far out as here? Yeah, it kind of gives you an idea of like the area that they're at. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, man, again, the, the map detail continues to be insane. So like the, the graffiti is like the gang tags. So like, you know, when you should start to look out. Can you That's use the foliage as cover? Do the AI not see you as well if you're in foliage? Yeah, they won't see you. If you're behind yes, foliage, yes. they won't see you. If you peek your head over it, they'll definitely know you're there though. But if you will shoot from the foliage, they will shoot me back, definitely. Okay. So the left shoulder swap is awesome. I wonder if, which would be really interesting, and I wonder if it's a thing. So, you know how I, like most people, use Q and E to lean? If you're, like, just at ready with your gun, 
and you lean, does it auto shoulder swap? It doesn't act like there's a different key bind or something. I feel like he would have asked. I wonder which would be a really neat thing. I was like, I'm trying to think if you ever, like in Rainbow Six and stuff, you lean all the time and you can lean while you're not ADS'd. Why, why wouldn't you want it to auto shoulder swap, right? Like, that'd be really cool. Like Tarkov just added shoulder swap, but if it just automatically did it, level cap said it's auto swap. Yeah. That's something I didn't know I needed. I love the fact you swap shoulders when you left lean. Yeah. You don't see that often. Yeah, when you shoot, the foliage moves. That's crash timing gun, for you. So that's how they can see you in the foliage where you're at. Yeah, that's a nice... <laughs> I wonder if it auto-swaps a second later. Well, the shoulder auto-swaps. It's cool. Detail. So cool. And the bullets do deflect, like, off of glass and stuff. So when you're shooting through glass, it's going to deviate quite a bit, just like you're shooting through wood and stuff. Man, this is horrible moving through here. Does that change based on the caliber as well? Yeah, it's based the, on the caliber, yeah. yeah. Larger rounds won't ricochet as hard. Well, it depends. 7.62, I've seen do some weird stuff in real life, which is kind mm -hmm. of amazing. So looking at the mission, the hideout. Here we're getting some... This is the first look here. So we can see we have a task of health and a gear page and a map. I think we've kind of seen all this stuff through the different things. But there's the rat's nest thing. So it tells you, you can see in raid like when you've completed stuff does it change position when you repeat the mission or is it always the same oh no it's always the same here yeah the situations mission. change because like you made the uh, running to a patrol uh the ai could be different every time mm -hmm. yeah yeah each round which we had it was different definitely okay cool yeah, we've had some runs completely die on that road coming into town, and some some runs yeah. nobody shot anything. Check out this house here. I mean, you wouldn't be replaying missions anyway, would you? Like once you've done them once, like you onto the next one. Yeah, you're basically on yeah. the next ones. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are planning to do wipes or stuff like that, but yeah, there's a lot of lot of you know things yep. that Mara has actually mentioned about that and. Every so, you know, in months or whatever, I think some of it will just be based on balancing and stuff, you know. What do you guys think about that with wipes? Jack asking the hard-hitting questions. What a journalist. Mm -hmm. Here is the quest objective on the table, the phone. Yeah, if you come upstairs, Jack. Yeah, I'm upstairs. Oh, cool. Yeah. Next. I think <laughs> there's a roadside picnic book that's uh if you guys don't know that's a little easter egg from like the stalker series that's what like the stalker series is based off that book um so yeah there's a whole nother thing with lore in this game that's not even being talked about like the center of the map like we're talking about how realistic it is but there's still some mystery with uh the game itself and like the center part of the map's not even going to be opened yet where like weird stuff happens next to the video thing here yeah. Yeah, next to the next to the video on the right side. Yep. Got it. Good. And we'll show show him the two things over here. Newspapers. My legs aren't broken. So we can what? go down. <laughs> you goof. You got splint. You jump down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So you get fall damage, break your legs. Don't loot it. Let him loot it. Nah. I just really hope that there are. Uh, I don't know how you do it. It would be really, really cool to have dynamic missions somehow because I can't tell you how many times in Tarkov I just don't want to do those missions again. I don't want to do the same missions again. And I don't know necessarily if they need to be different. Like every wipe would be cool. There'd be a ton of work. Even if they just re-rolled them. Like if they were just into a dynamic order and people working on different stuff at different times. Uh, <laughs> I learned from your mistakes. Yeah, there's going to have to be wipes. I think that's true for Like when we're talking about um, like when they add an open, they're going to change the map. So when they add big things, like when they add day night cycle, when they add new big items, when they change things. Yeah, the wipes are probably going to have to happen, right, especially right in the here, early, early going. Uh, look at this box on the wall. This is kind of a preview for our first there you update. Go, yep, they, need it up they need a the game master. Box. Whoa. So earlier in Fry's video, he walked by one of these, and I saw the prompt to mess with it, but I didn't see him actually move it. 
That's cool. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Right, so you can actually here, turn off lights uh, look and at buildings? this box on the wall. This is kind of a preview for our first update. You can open it up and interact with The breaker box. Oh. First updates day and night with all the night vision and stuff. You'll be able to kill power to every building and every light will have a light switch. That's pretty sweet. And cool then details, here's man. a loot box for you right here. Uh, there is currently not in this build a way to show that it's searching. So just sit there for a second and then loot will start popping up. So there is searching in some things. Ooh, well, we got AK, RGD, some US ammunition there. We got an RGD. That's a good one. You can throw that AK in your third weapon slot as well next to your backpack. I brought in an M4, Tom. Okay. That's Southwest. Contact again. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Oh, cool. More food content because I'm fat and need to go to the gym. Thanks, YouTube. Yeah, just about. Probably in front of the supermarket. I jumped up onto this truck. I think oh, maybe I he saw it. me. I'm peeking here. Dude, day night's gonna be so sick. Did you not? I don't see this guy. Yeah. Oh, he's down the road market. I yeah, that's an arm stamina wall. indicator. Uh, there oh, are a few of them. One is top left. The Jack is your market. right of your player model, and top left is your stamina, and then the left is your arm stamina. Okay, thank you. Oh, he's ru oh he's running. They coming towards us. Uh, in front of the supermarket. Oh, you got one in front of the supermarket. West. Two dead. I think I took a shot then. So what's the? Healing I think you did too, here? bud. Uh, open up your tab and then health. And then it'll show oh, you hell what it yeah, is, and then tell me what it is, and I'll tell you right. Medium bleeding and in pain. <laughs> okay, uh, medium bleed, just use your bandage. It should take care of it. Do you have, are any of your organs yellow by chance? I hope not. <laughs> on the on the skeleton. <laughs> yeah, no, that's just not. <laughs> are any of your organs yellow? Medium wound. Get that liver checked yeah, out, man. didn't touch any of your organs, so you're good. Oh, take a fire. The bandage is applied. Guys, oh, thank you so much for hanging out. out with me and checking oh, yeah, this out. I super appreciate so it, guys. Now that I've thank you. That bleeding, do I need to oh, it gives you it? more info if you hover over the bullet. Any further? Uh, are you? Yeah, recoil hasn't been jarring to me. I haven't noticed it, so that's good. Still in pain. It just says. Oh, I want to see what that. I want to see what that says when he hovers on it. Do I need? To ah. Stop. Treated medium wound, so it shows it's chewing, or it's treated, and mild pain. But it doesn't seem broken, but the bone is red. I wonder if that's just pain. And you guys can see the weight. Someone asked about that earlier. And then intoxication and radiation, that's something that we can expect coming, I do feel like, um, later on. Stop that bleeding. When they open up. Excuse me, when they uh, open it up and mess with the center parts of the, the map where all the anomaly type stuff happens. Further? Uh, are you still in pain? It just says hurt. Uh, yeah, you can take a painkiller. Yeah, you can take a painkiller. Is that this... the Ebelin? Yeah, that's Ebelin. On it. Pop these pills out. Looks like Pepto Bismol, oh, baby. Right up. <laughs> uh, I think that's probably construction. Yeah, no construction yeah. again. Southwest, there's a couple of them. Yeah, you seem just oh, across, across, across the river. So I love the feedback on that, man. You can you can hover over that wound and it tells you what's up. Just behind that cover there, I think. There he is. There he goes. That's really neat. Ooh, nice okay, one shot. of construction's down. You dropped him. Same Ram, I don't around. know. Thermals yeah, and stuff are going to be but... wild. There's this that I saw in the developer gameplay. The quick menu is really neat. Uh, where you can hit H, G, or P, and then scroll to what you want to use, and then boom, use it. That's really cool. That's going to be something you're going to want to practice with and get really good at. Do they have much of like a audible difference? Oh yeah. Gunshots yeah. are a lot lower when you're wearing yeah. the headsets because it like yeah. mutes the chant sound for the gunfire. Right. I think they're still over to the west somewhere. So there's yeah, confirmation on the uh, on the hearing protection. Razor ones on that scale. Are they like some of the better ones or? Uh, Got the razors good, are pretty good. good. I use I use them at in real life. <laughs> okay. But they more like the weird thing they do is like when you fire, they like shut off. So it'll be like amplified and then it just sounds like somebody just turned the on off switch real quick. Right. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I have some ears like that too. Road pushing up. Yeah, yeah. He's down. And the, uh, the, the headsets and gunshots are actually being reworked a bit this weekend too. 
So there are so people already talked about that and they're already reworking the audio. Okay. They're talking about the tactical headsets that you can wear, by the way. Is that their main um, like use in this game, though, just to sort of make Same it set, a more yep. pleasant experience and have your ears blown out every two seconds? Or do they actually can... affect stuff like footsteps and footsteps crispiness? Footsteps a little bit. So the headsets can affect the gunfire and footstep audio just a tad. For what he was saying there. Oh, left side, Scorpion, Scorpion. Don't see him. He's dead. Another one in the bush. Oh, right there. I want to play. Nice shot. Guys, we're going to be he streaming this so together. Clean. Come They're on, man. I want to play. We're killing all our guys. I'm just going to keep cleaning up all the food along the way. Okay, so this game has got energy, stamina, hydration system. So you have to bring stuff to eat and drink into the mission. He's breathing heavy. I think it's because it still says he's hurt. That hurt uh, effect is but lasting a long somebody. time. There should be some cans or food. And then you like crash. If you get shot, it hurts, buddy. So here on 47, hydration, so I'm going to drink this water. That's going to top that back up. Yeah, I love the comms and just the thoughts of, like, moving on. through together. And, like, okay. I'm telling you, man, like, if they, they I'm sure the, the server thing's got to be fixed, right? Like, just how this is tactical and the comms and stuff, just on a PV, PvE mission, how intense is PvP going to be, man? I agree, Mike. Gonna, I think it would hurt. So I haven't been shot, thank goodness, but here, so gonna I feel like it would hurt. Check my stages and fix me up. You have a bone fracture. Let me splint it for you. See oh, they are going to do. I didn't fix that earlier. Okay, so it is fractured. All right. You should be good. You just have slight blood loss. Let me actually give you blood. Let me, uh, actually, here, I'll let you do it So yourself. he, di he here, did split uh, him. Yeah, the animation's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Pick that up and use it. Thank you. His blood is not Hell that blood, low. Yeah. Yep. His blood's regening. Here we go. Stick that in. Oh! God, it looks great in third as well. I've not seen this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. The needle like hanging out of his arm. Oh! Some blood into me. No big deal. <clears throat> cool. Thank you. Nice. Oh, in tip top That's me, now. man. Bullets flying everywhere, and then oh, <laughs> but the needles look like. Oh. Got a little red dot hollow sight thing on it, so. We'll see how it goes. I would I mean, think. I don't know, uh, I don't know about that, Ram. It might not. Like if it muffles gunshots, it depends on that threshold where it shuts off. One more to go. Obviously, it I might help no it for I'm distant gunshots. I would think. The lead. There's the team. I don't like them, man. We'll see what happens. But do the AI react to sounds? If I fire a loud M4, will they come over here? Yes. And they react to VoIP too, like because we have the in-game VoIP. Oh, I do oh they, 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 all, did you hear man. that, guys? The AI reacts to VoIP. Hey, yep, left side. Oh. So they can hear you. Hear shouting, I don't sorry. know if that's like that in Tarkov. I feel like it is. Yeah, got him. I think he saw me, so he started shouting at me. I think he could have heard us. Los Angeles? I'm good. Yeah, he heard all, all us trudging through. That's cool. It's even some of this like sensitive as a footstep earlier. Yep. Not just gunshots. Awesome. Yep. This is very exposed here. <laughs> yeah, we should cross. That's what I think, Mike. That's what I. That's what I understand <laughs> yeah, here. They're not like talk. They're not like. That's the thing. It's like a, a recently like, evacuated city, right? So there's no AI chat so GPT going to talk road. back to you. you. Just have to make a dash to the garages or like cars. Go go go. Get across that road. Yeah, they just all ass right at you. I'm paranoid now. Nobody down there. Some nice detail in these interiors are. That's what I think. But this is the oh, someone just kicked the door open. Yeah, this is the second objective here, so I'm gonna take that. Yoink! Got it. So we can continue. Back into the hell. How long is this video? 23 minutes? I mean, there's so many angles here. Oh. Contact. Dude, PvP Where? is going to be crazy, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, same. Hit him. He's down. There's another nice. one somewhere. I just heard him Yeah, shoot. recoil seems reasonable. Uh, he's Doesn't in the it to you guys? Like How do you guys right. think? What do you think of recoil? Dropped him. Nice. I think I got the other one. Yeah, yeah, it's not Good as spongy job. on on this. 
this run. We'll head up here and do the only extraction. Yeah, I imagine this is going to get pretty tactical and spooky yeah, when you know, there's other players around as well. Just walk around ADS die, the whole time. Yeah, you're going to lose what's on you. Apart from the stuff that's in your special case, so. Dude, thermals, thermals intense, at night through these stocks. Game. What are we doing, man? We so strong. So can we see the extraction on the map? You have to discover LZs. You'll get like one or two LZs that you can use, but the rest you have to explore and discover them. Right. So the more you explore, the more you unlock LZs, or you can just even walk everywhere and walk back to base too. You don't even need to use the choppers. Big question I had. Super big question I had. You can walk back to base. You don't have to use the choppers. But the gameplay loop is Me you too, legit. Me too. The fob, hero, Children of the corn. Dude, don't talk to me about Children of the Corn, man. I saw that movie, and then uh, not too long ago, like some old, like just an old ass rerun, and then never ever watch Children of the Corn and then go deer hunting the next day, because when you're bow hunting, you walk in before dark next to corn, and you hear like raccoons and stuff in the corn. Never, ever, ever do that. I was out of my mind, dude. Missions calling the chopper, picking LZ. You go in, you try and complete the mission and get back to the fob. So <laughs> there's not like a lobby, so to speak, like there is in some other extraction games. Front. Oh, was right past my head then. Contact not. Let's listen to that again. Because one of the things I've been asking about is bullet audio. And one whizzed by his head. I want to hear it. Be, so to speak. Listen. Like there is in some other extraction games. Front. Oh, was right. That's pretty cool. Then. That sounded like Contact Subsonic. Not. Oh yeah, same. Yep. Yeah, absolutely really terrifying. Oh, yeah, he's oh, he's oh, I just heard someone go. No, was someone down? That was me. Yeah, it's I'm funny, right, Mike. Right. Little jab. Bleeding hard, but I'm checking I dropped you. Him. I'm helping you. I'm helping you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, medium bleed. I've got bandage. I'm good. Okay, you're good. All right. Mm -hmm. All right we didn't lose anyone then, luckily. Thank you. That scorpion with that subsonic round, man, doesn't make a lot of noise coming at you. See, and I didn't hear it from the shooter's point of view, but I swear they said that, and Devil Dog just talked about it again. He said the subsonic ammo sounds quieter coming at you, and then supersonic would crack. I really think that's in the game, but we just haven't heard it. And that is really cool. I heard that pass through me, dude. That was crazy. Yeah, that sounds quite scary. I'm moving up behind you. I did. I actually did on my channel. I did a road, road to Vostok video in real life shooting with the range. Um, I used my suppressed 357 uh, lever gun and I shot 38 specials subsonic and I shot 357 mag supersonic. And you can hear the difference in the bullet crack on that video. Some nice environmental storytelling. There's a dead guy, and another dead guy, and another dead guy. A chalky bar, I'll say that. War crimes. Found the war crimes. That's a nice rug. <laughs> Which one? The first one? <laughs> yeah, where can I buy that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Probably the thrift store. <laughs> it sounded cool. You do that at IKEA. Yeah. <laughs> $200 at IKEA, $5 at the thrift store. <laughs> so we just discovered an LZ here. Yep. So that's kind of how yeah. you find yeah. the rest of the LZs. Probably three. Yes, you can check it oh, out. Oh, that's map. terrifying, Seth. You can go the heli back to the base, and as I mentioned, you are calling when you want to go, so you need to click on the base camp and call for the travel. The system will choose the closest landing zone, which will be now Bravo 3. All right, so open the big map. And then... So, We've only seen this Nam Thaven village the whole time, but this appears to, this feels like a quarter or a third of the map. And click on base camp, call the transport. And the chopper should come. Or you can decide, LZ. that was really cool. Yeah. Or you can decide to walk to and from the safe base. That's really cool to have that off. That would take forever. Uh, how far you but, are from the LZ. Mm -hmm. Your game. So if you stand far away, uh, it will give you more time to reach the LZ. Is there a chance that at this moment when you've called in a transport, enemies can ambush you? 
Yes, players can ambush yes. you at the LZs. That's why you have the option to also walk and just avoid this altogether. The map is, this is just a tiny part, portion of the map. I think it was from- My friend Dang used it. to pay $163 for car insurance. Car insurance now is a scam, get off my paid. screen. From this town to the town, the Midnight Sapphire, walking straight north with <gasps> a- Now we're talking, boys. That wasn't even a quarter of the map. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> All righty then. Well. Now we kind of get a little bit of a feeling for what we're dealing with here. This is massive uh, a little bit bigger than factory guys a little bit bigger than factory got water over here i know they talked about the fort they talked about one of these is probably tiger bay not sure it's like a resort thing and they did also say that they wanted to add more stuff to it like fill it in and then there is the infamous ground zero that is not yet open that'll eventually be open but that's where uh, the event happened that we don't know what it is. It's huge, man. And I, I thought there were, weren't there four factions? So are we, are we missing a base camp here? Or are there just three factions? Maybe my brain's not working. <laughs> I don't know, John, a while. Oh man. And then, dude, that's just, holy man. Holy, dude. That's crazy. That's, that's sick, man. It's about 45 minute walk. Oh, down. Dude, it's very big. A lot of the fighting is going to be very, you know, random. Like you'll just be walking through the jungle and then you encounter another faction of PMCs just random. Yeah, so I thought maybe mm -hmm. just because there's 48 players. Yeah, maybe the rogue PMC here, doesn't have a base camp. Team. You get crazy. Okay. What faction am I joining? I don't know oh, yet. There it is. How much of a death sentence is Ground so Zero? <laughs> uh, I, I'm not Yo, going. I mean, for the <laughs> you die is what you're trying to say. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> going. I know Mara kind of already told you guys um, in the roundtable about the anomalies, but mm -hmm. there will be things that will kill you if you get curious. Yeah. Is everyone on this one that needs to be? Yeah, yeah, hop on. We got a second shot. Yeah, you coming. can. Yeah. It's actually coming right behind you guys. It almost might. I'll jump on I don't know. Me. We had a close one yesterday that looked really cool. But yeah. this one wasn't this close. No collision this time. The chopper collision? And you could also shoot from the choppers too, Jack. Wait. Immediately unloads a mag. Yes. You needed can. to know that. <laughs> Just Dude, all right, what we can shoot from, from the choppers. Oh, nade uh, from the choppers, Jack, my man. Grenades? I just did. Oh, well, Jack tested yes. for us. So we have bombers in the game. <laughs> AC 130 right now. One minute. Uh, I, I think you have to pick a faction. That <laughs> but I'm not sure. the wind and the ballistics, that it would have thrown the grenade maybe back due to the prop wash <laughs> into the. Sh that would have. So. Mm. That's actually a fun thing that you just tested. I'm gonna test one now too. Um, I don't have any more grenades. I mean, if I throw it directly upwards. Oh, I wouldn't try that. Oh yeah. Yeah, it will. <laughs> the, I think the rotor blades oh, are there, a physical there. thing, Jack. So <laughs> there might be a chance that we Jack's, and Jack's out here testing stuff in it the name of science, in the man. Oh, yeah. we're taking fire. We're taking fire. Sounds like it. Oh might. yeah, damn. Yeah, the AI was you just shooting at him. You die when you're in this on the way back. Yeah, you can get shot up. Um, I think you're invincible. You'll bleed, but you won't die and fall out of the chopper. We're still working on what we want with that. Yeah. Sweet. So we're back at base camp now. Mission complete. We're going to turn that in. Get a bit of reputation with that trader. Dude, that's cool, man. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts below. Big thanks to the Grey Zone Warfare guys for letting us play as well. Chacks ran pretty smooth. Time. They Bye -bye. had him on those good, good yeah, servers, man. Okay. They had him on those good okay. servers.
Dang, guys. So that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty damn cool. Um, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to check out today, guys. Um, I think we watched about everything we could, dude. Well, yeah, I know. I know. I think they had, uh, I think they had Jack on some special servers over there. <laughs> uh, that's pretty awesome. Man, overall, what do you guys think? So one, one last time, what do you guys think? What I, where I'm at is, uh, man, I just feel like it's got a lot of potential. I hope that people can be patient with it. Um, I hope that I can be patient with it without taking a bunch of heat for being like a shill and stuff like that. Because to have something with this many cool and interesting features and like how many times today, how many times today did I see something and I was like, oh, wow. Like there was some really cool shit and it's down to the same things that every game deals with, right? Like AI, optimization, and netcode. Name a game that hasn't gone through issues with that. There isn't one. It's just a thing that FPS games go through. And for something that's that's two years down the road, man, it's got a heck of a foundation, man. It's got a heck of a foundation, right? Since we're talking about it back in 2016, which is open world, multiple extracts, no time to force. It has tons of potentials. I really want to see PvP. Yeah, the map reveal was insane, dude. The map reveal was insane. Patient is how Mad Fingers been operating with comms of vids regarding Gray Zone. I hope so, Viking. Love how much the devs communicate the open constructive criticism as we game built by gamers. And that's the other thing, too. So, from the little things we've seen, uh, Mad Finger Games has been so receptive, right? So, people didn't like how the sites looked in the reveal trailer, it was fixed by the gameplay trailer. We saw Redbeard Mortis, his video, the game wasn't working with his AMD setup. They worked overnight for two nights to get him a build that worked so he could play. They already talked about how they're reworking AI and weapon sounds based on the feedback of the gameplay a few days ago. They're working on it, man. Like, and you can tell that they give a shit. So it's pretty cool. Big Fry did do a really good job of being transparent. And 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 I feel like I feel like we live in an age. We live in an age with social media where we have to be extreme. Like you have to be, oh my God, this game sucks. Or you have to be like, oh, this is the greatest game ever. But, and I feel like being like a reasonable person is just like becoming like a lost thing today. But, but if we're being reasonable about it, it needs work. But the base is, the base is epic, man. I just see, I see this game put me going places if, if the audience gives them a chance, like if the community gives them a chance, man. Yeah, dude, like there's tons of stuff they can do with cosmetics. They did say that's coming, right? Like we talked about cosmetics and how um, there's certain things like uh, like the jeans that special ops used to wear like in the Vietnam era. Like if you get those, it means you're kind of like a badass. So some of the cosmetics and progressions are there to dress up your character to look really cool. There was high customization in how you're going to look, which I also like for your squad mates. So homies that you play with all the time can have their own unique look to them and you can tell, hey, that's my buddy, like right away uh, when you're getting into the weeds with stuff. So that's super cool. Um, the big questions are the are the game stuff that they're working on and then how are they gonna handle in-game and progression later on as they get closer to 1.0, right? Like if you progress through all the way through, you figure out everything in the center area, you figure out what all the anomalies are, you progress all the way through, are you done with the game? Or, or is there a different way to play it? Yo, Gillies are going to be wild in that, right? Gillies are going to be wild. Um, but yeah, man. So I think where we are, I think that's about what I expected. And I'm pretty hyped. And I think the potential for the game is uh, is off the charts. And the, one of the things I'm most excited for is they talked about um, day-night cycle and where you could shut off the buildings, kind of like, uh, is it zero hour? In that game, like you could shut off the shut off the breakers outside and kill the power. So I, I think that's, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> it's not my game. It's not my game, Gunbox. Uh, hit, up, uh, hit up Rick on the Grey Zone Warfare Discord, man. 
definitely not my game. I wish it was, but it's not. <laughs> if I were to make a game, it would be kind of like this. Has match suits to go into ground zero. Yeah, there's so much there like we don't know yet. There's so much stuff there. I was ready. I didn't expect to be where it's at, but I'm impressed and ready. You shut off power and ready or not as well. I thought so, Seth. I thought so. I thought so. Thanks for that. That light switch is one of its first gameplay reveals they did. Really, Timmy? I didn't know that. I missed that. I missed that. That's pretty cool. Um, dang. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. I think we're uh, I think we're setting pretty good about where we thought. Um, hoping I can get my hands on it um, before too long when it gets uh, to the early access. So, yeah, early access, guys. Uh, plan on coming by for streams. Um, I definitely want to play it uh, and, um, yeah, get some streams in and hanging out with the community. Um, in the meantime, uh, uh, no, Swift, I didn't get a play. Uh, I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't get in on the first 20. Uh, totally understandable. They went with uh, creators with uh, a lot bigger reach, which is marketing 101, right? So uh, I wanted to take the opportunity to check out the new gameplay with you guys and do kind of like a town hall discussion type, see what you guys were thinking, my reactions and your guys' reactions and just kind of just kind of interact together and uh, see where we're at on everything. So that's what we did today. How did you miss out? Uh, dude, like, they went with like, like big channels. And uh, I'm a 6,000 subscriber YouTube channel. So all good. All good. I am not delusional, man. I know my place. <laughs> I know my place. That's why I'm ultra appreciative for you guys hanging out, man. So awesome. I, I appreciate it. The fact that, that so many of you uh, tuned in to, to hang out with me while we talk through some of this stuff is, is so awesome. So I appreciate all you guys. Uh, nothing but good vibes, man. Um, if you guys are interested, um, if you guys like hanging out, I do stream. I do stream almost every day, almost every evening at twitch.tv slash crash eight. This weekend, uh, there's going to be some American Truck Simulator streams and some uh, <laughs> also some Rainbow Six. So we're going to be we're going to be working on uh, on Rainbow Six. Yo, Phillies, thank you so much for the Twitch follow. Uh, expect weekend streams this weekend to be some heavy duty, uh, rainbow six grind. And we're, we're working on trying to get to up to Emerald and maybe even diamond this year in rainbow six. So we'll be, uh, we playing some rainbow six over there, maybe some American truck simulator streams and just chatting, um, on the other side of it, man. But yeah, dude, it's going to be awesome. Yo, thank you. Favorite. Thank you. I appreciate that. Genshin impact stream. Never heard of her. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. So you guys have a blessed weekend. You guys have an awesome weekend. I would love to see you um, in the Twitch streams. Uh, until then, uh, I'll be back with some Grey Zone Warfare content. And uh, I know it probably gets I, I know it probably gets annoying. Uh, Far, thank you for the Twitch follow. Um, I know it probably gets annoying. Um. But just thank you guys so much, man. Again, it, it floors me that people take time out of their day to tune in and watch my content. Uh, it's totally unexpected and uh, very, very much appreciated. So uh, you guys take care. See you in LeMang, dude. I can't wait. When we get on that chopper for the first time, boys, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good, good damn time. It'll be fun. So you guys all take care. Have an awesome weekend. Thank you for all the love on today's streams, all the subs, all the Twitch follows, um, the, the super chats and stuff like that. Uh, blessed. And I hope you guys have an awesome damn weekend. And uh, we'll see you another time. How about it, guys? Later.